You fuck with Troy and Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Of course I do, you fool. What about you? Do you fuck with Troy and Jerry? Jerry, Jerry. Oh boy, I love this show. Does anyone else here fuck with Troy and Jerry? Jerry, 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 Jerry? I have been a big fan since the beginning. Do you fuck with Troy and Jerry? I love this show so much. Is it time to start yet? Let's start the show. What's up, Troy? What's up, fucks? No, I'm yeah, that's right. <laughs> Happy Friday, Jay. Faux freezing over there. Faux freezing. Faux freezing. Faux freezing, like a faux ficus. Is that like a mo murder? Mo murder. Mo murder. Mo murder. Mo murder. Faux freezing. Yeah. Faux free. Faux yeah. freezing, man. How you doing, man? Stuck to be right, here man. Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah, man. Yeah. How's everybody doing out there in the chat tonight? Oh, chat world, man. We got Australia out there representing it. Fucking love. We get a lot of more Australians these days. You know, like I just noticed that they're always there now. Like there was a time when they weren't and now they are. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. Lots of Australians. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. What fucking time is it in Australia right now, man? It's 9, 9 p.m. for me, 6 p.m. for Troy. Ooh, what is it for you? Yes, yeah. that's true. Australians getting screwed. Yeah, they got they're getting like a vape ban going on right now. Like they're they're banning all the imports of vapes, and it's I think it's intended around e juice and all the nick stuff. But I think dry herbs are getting caught up in it the same way it did here. Yeah, we tend to fuck things up and set the pace for everybody else to do the same. It's kind of disappointing. We're real good at that. Yeah, damn it. Two a.m. in the UK. Wow, so wow. 2 a.m. in the UK, noon at least in one place in Australia. So uh right the fuck on. Thanks for the time check-ins, man. I like that. It's time for a Vegemite sandwich. I saw a Vegemite sandwich. Do you guys actually eat that? Come on. That's just the, it's just from the song, right? No, it's like it's like actually like our peanut butter and jelly, I hear. Like it's pretty popular and all. Like really I don't know that I don't know that you and I would like it, but if you go up there, yeah, you dig it. It's apparently how it goes. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you shit beyond that. Never had one. HQ Australia eats Vegemite every day. <laughs> Emily's Emily's chiming in. He loves his shit. Cool. I've never seen you eat it. Em Where's Emily, your Vegemite sandwich? I remember Emily eating some other weird thing. Like it was like some wheat snack or some wheat cake thing. Oh. Wheatix or some I can't remember what the fuck it's called now. But I remember we we had this stoned conversation one night about things that like like you guys eat pop tarts and we just eat like straight wheat you know it's like why why are americans so fat yeah wheat a wheat a bix that sounds right it's a wheat a bix sounds like wheat a bix emily what was it you're here what was it man you can wheat throw that mix. Up there. type it up in what wheat bix okay wheat <laughs> wheat bix sounds interesting man yeah i don't know what that is <laughs> wheat bix doesn't sound like something i want to eat i don't even know if i want to smell that shit <laughs> No, get a better name and I'm all over it. What, what's your wheat bick smell like? <laughs> mm, the fuck that shit, man. Oh, that's great. 
Shit, man. That's great. Well, I'm just stoked to be here, man. It's gonna be a good e- good evening, man. I'm excited to play with these vapes later, man. Um, these are gonna be some fun ones. I am too. I've been excited to pull some of these vapes out. I've been I've been excited to talk some shit about some of these vapes. I pulled a couple of them out earlier and attempted to like clean them and get them ready to use. And then I realized I'm never gonna use this game, vape again. So like, well, right. we're gonna get we're gonna get into some shit tonight, right? Jerry. You're gonna, you're gonna. I, I, I'm worried that you're gonna you're gonna be too positive on the vape that I don't like, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of you in front of everybody. We're gonna fucking fight, motherfucker. We're gonna fight over these things because I'm passionate about these no existing anymore vapes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, a few of them you can still get. If you go to our website, uh, we've got a blog post for today. We got a link to every one of these but one because um, I couldn't even remember what the fuck it was called. Uh, and then and I still don't think anybody's selling it. So, um, so anyhow, it's it's that that one I told you. No, I didn't tell you. You weren't in there. Um, the, what's the fucking thing? Well, don't Jesus. spoil it. No, but. Yeah, I won't. Okay, because somebody will know what that is. So anyhow, Somebody, somebody's gonna know. There's links to this shit, either where it used to be sold or where it is sold or whatever. But you got the good stuff tonight. Yeah. yeah so uh, you want to hear a funny story? I love them. Yesterday, somebody somebody flew here. Somebody flew to California. Uh, a vape a vape engineer flew to California yesterday with their vaporizer for me to try it and uh i sent him to the dispensary to to pick because it's a concentrate vape and i wanted to try it with good concentrate so i'm like yo you pick up pick up a gram of hash rosin for me and then and then we'll we'll talk uh so we we met yesterday and <laughs> jerry so he, he he gets his vape out and he opens the the jar and uh he's like He's like, you want to load it? You're me too. And I'm like, well, it's your vape. I'm like, you, you, why don't you load it up and show me how it's done? He's like, well, it's designed to hold a full gram, so I'm, I'm gonna load all of this. And I'm like, no, 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 don't do, don't do that, don't do that. You know, so like I got <laughs> half of it in, and then, uh, and then the vape didn't work. <laughs> oh no, oh no. It was it was it like unre re, re, like you couldn't get it out. It was just like it's like that. That's gonna be there till it fixes itself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the oil in there is probably ruined and wasted. Yeah, the the vape did not did not work. So I'm sorry to hear that, man. Did not. I, I mean, I felt terrible for the guy. Like yeah. this guy, this guy, like scheduled the flight, flew here with his vaporizer, took his rental car to the dispensary, brought the dispensary and the vaporizer to me, and then. Nothing. <laughs> didn't, didn't didn't bring it and didn't bring a good vape. Didn't bring a, a second vape. It, it, yeah, that's the thing. It's like yeah. with prototypes and stuff. You know that that vape probably cost them thirty, forty thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. It's pretty kind of kind of a bummer. You know, it really was. Yep. Yeah, you gotta you gotta if you're into a lot of prototype and you're you're you're, you're developing very expensively. Yeah. So yeah, you, you don't want to do too many of those. Wow. <laughs> I felt bad, but on the bright side, I, yeah, I brought bad. home I brought home the seven ten labs. What was left of it that he didn't cram into the the vaporizer. That Imagine if he done it all, man. It would just be all. Oh in my there. god! I know, <laughs> I know. Oh uh, fuck! Well, no, sweet. He, he he tested it, uh, and apparently it was working. Just an hour before we met, he he tested it, and and he burned off some juice or something in there. I don't know what he did. Stopped working before I got to try. That sucks. Yeah, it was it. It it felt wrong. It, it felt. Uh, yeah, I think we need to we need, we need to we need to dab dab that shit for him. What's that? Uh, he, baby face Finster. That's if he used to work for Grasshopper. That's funny. Oh God. Let's let's do a dab for him, man. Let's do a dab for him. Yeah, let's do a dab. You guys ready to do a dab? It's been uh, it's been. More than five minutes, we can get our D's out in the beginning of the stream now and yeah. have a little have a little dab. I've got I've got one packed and ready. Like I'm like I'm good to go, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry Rio it up. You know I'm like my Rio's dry. So Maybe you're gonna like tell your... me at five ten or something like that? Is that what you said? I'll I'll tell you at five thirty. How's that? 
I'm firing up at 5.30. How you guys doing out there, man, in the chat? What's up, man? Best seal clubbers hanging. Jack of bankruptcy. Right the fuck on, man. Sussy Baker, get them Ds out. DM Tango. All right, What's so I'm up? starting at 600. Line. It's at 600 right now, Jer. Right on, right on. A special dab tune. There is a dab tune for when it's a penalty dab. We have a we have a penalty dab tune, but that's not what this is. So, um, but we're about to give you guys a reason to start trying to get us the penalty dab, and we'll tell you about it um, after this dab, anyhow. But uh, um, yeah. yeah, man, we we hit that up before. All right, everybody, get their D's out. What are you at temperature wise now? Five thirty. Is it time? Okay, five thirty. I'm going. I'm going. Not four twenty. Five thirty. Let's see how this works. So, all right. So, I just chirped. I told Jerry at 5 30, he could torch torch off. I'm going in. Cheers, Jerry. Go for it. I'm about to hit mine in just a couple <sighs> seconds. Oh, shit. Need a ball in there. Love to hear that spin on your machine there, man. Oh, geez. That tastes great. That was the perfect temp for this. <coughs> That is really good. <coughs> What's yours called? You got the good stuff there. What 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 uh, strain is it when you get back? Uh, I just had the box out too. Right here. It's um <coughs> Tropicana Grape Cake number 11 crossed with Banana Punch number 4. Grape and banana. Nice and cake, Tropicana and punch. How's it taste? Fresh from uh, February fifth of this year. What's up, Austin? Good. good to see you, brother. Is he up there? What's happening, my man? Good to see you. That was really good. I love the banana terps. I don't it's get enough best, of those. It's the best dab I've had all year so far. When I get something that tastes like banana, it usually tastes kind of fake to me. Yeah? Yeah, just kind of like, did they add this shit in or something, you know? like. Yeah. When I when I, when I I get like a, a cart, because I know they're, that's how they're building their carts, is they're just slapping a bunch of, you know. For, for yeah. Players, you know? I would imagine Florida's are probably a different game. Come to California and try some bananas. Yeah. Try some, gotta, gotta have those California bananas. Bananas. Yeah, we're known for our oranges, but not that. I love the banana, right. banana terps too. They're King Fupa. What's up, Weeble? Chill Mike in the chat. Dan Unknown. Oh, lots of familiar faces. Duality, above average gamer. I think above average gamer has been in the community for like four years. Unless there's more than one above average gamer. And I'm sure there are a bunch of above average gamers. <laughs> no, Ant Man hasn't been banned yet. That's crazy, right? Thanks. Fancy dad rig. Zodica's yeah. in the chat. What's up, Zodica's? Banana boat. Hey, um, Troy, tell them, tell them, tell them the new rules for penalty dabs, man. Like, what are we doing those? So, as you know, last week or a couple weeks ago, we uh, we started calling our spent vaporized cannabis DCB instead of ABV or AVB. We uh we talked about it and we kind of determined that AVB is a a dumb dumb acronym could be better and uh, we put some more thought into it and we're right now we're we're working with DCB as decarbed bud yeah and uh, in an effort to embrace the change if we accidentally refer to our our spent cannabis as ABV or AVB we've agreed to uh, do a do a penalty dab. As a as a DCB dab, right on a DCB dab. I like it. So you guys in the chat, keep us uh, keep us honest, and when you hear it, let us know. Emily can post it on the screen, and we'll have to get busy. But it ain't gonna happen because I, I love this DCB shit, man. So you guys can try, but it ain't gonna happen. But uh, that's not the only one. Um, Emily, bring up that comment. There was a good comment on. Uh, on on one of our videos where we talked about that i think it was the um the pockety video and uh i'll go ahead and uh okay oh, i guess he's got to pull it up again 
Um, well, I was about to read it, but this this guy, uh, this person, this viewer, shall we say, um, commented and, and made a, a really good point. Um, basically talking about uh, how we could just go with VB, Vaped Bud, lose the A, lose the already or the bins or whatever. And that way we can keep using uh, decarb bud to mean specifically bud that's been decarbed with the intention of edibles, like an ardent machine or hippie style in an oven. Here it is right here. Yeah, that's him right go. here. Uh, Seal Town Haze says, uh, and can you click the read more for me underneath it too, please? Uh, says, I agree that ABV is not a good sync acronym. AVB is better, but doesn't need the A. DCB is good, but I think of decarb bud is flour. It's had its DCA converted to TCHC by an oven or ardent in preparation for edibles. The DCB from a vape is mostly extracted and of an ardent DCB has much higher cannabinoid content. I would agree with that. Just wanted to bring this ambiguity to your attention. Do we need something in the name to differentiate the two? Uh, I can't really argue against that, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm not for or against VB instead. I think it's a solid argument. I, VB is, is pretty solid. It it, it uh, kind of sounds like VD. And uh, I when I hear VB, I, I tend to think of Visual Basic. And I, I don't know if that's a relevant acronym anymore. I don't think Visual Basic is really that popular anymore. When in my, my programming heyday, Visual Basic was was very popular. And everybody okay. needs to know a little bit of Visual Basic. Everybody needs a little bit of VB. You're yeah. showing your error there. That's good. <clears throat> uh, but th regarding the differentiating decarboxylated cannabis, like if you use your Ardent or your Magic Butter Machine or your Levo to decarb some buds, that is semantically more correct to refer to that as DCB or decarbed bud. However, however, uh, I got I to gotta think about the demand for it you know like how often do you refer to truly decarboxylated nugs coming out of your levo or your magic butter machine only when i have it but when i do i do call it decarbed or decarb like decarb is in what i call it whether it's i say decarb weed or decarb boat or whatever you know i could say edible weed you know like it's made to eat um, I could do that. That sounds easier to me to, to, to describe that as edible weed because um, everybody knows what that means. If I say decarb to somebody, now they want, now I got to explain that. <laughs> it's like, okay, I didn't do them any favors. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I don't I'm know. What happy, do you think, Troy? Do you like VB or do you like I don't, DCB? I don't mind. I don't mind VB. You know? Do you do you want to or would you make a switch to VB? I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it until like this exact moment, and it is something that I would I'd want to think about and practice. You know. Yeah. All right. What, well, do, what you, do you guys what do you in the chat, chat think? Yeah, I wonder what the chat thinks too. Like, what, what, you're you're the community. Like, what do you guys want to call it? Uh, I'm good with DCB. It just I thought this guy made up a good point that we ought to at least flesh out now instead of later. <laughs> the similarity then to, to VD uh, is yes. is off putting, but it is also irrational. You know, it's kind of the you know. Yeah, but I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Like, like if if I said pass the VB. All right. So that, one of the first thing I'm going to think is VD, just like you said. Like that's interesting. I hadn't thought about it that way, but that's going to come into my mind. Ch Cherry Ka made a comment a, a few minutes ago that I was pushing for DCB like four years ago, and this is true. Yeah. This is true. Like I, I remember when I came up with the 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 change. I think it was on Vape Church. Like we were doing the Vape Church thing, and we were we kind of came up with it there, and uh, I, I I pushed for it, and there was like a an anti pushback mostly because there's a, just a bunch of people that dislike me and dislike everything that i do and they're energized by that like they wake up and like i can't wait to go hate on troy today so like fucking fan base right uh oh, there was there's some pushback on the dcb uh but one of the one of the big reasons i i pushed for a change is because abv and avb 
are uh, kind of ambiguous when it comes to like findability. So when it comes to the semantic uses of the acronym, and this is what I was getting to when it comes to like your ardent and like how you would actually use those terms. When you're referring to your ABV or your fucking A, there's, there's our dab. Uh, when, when you're referring to your, 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 your vaped bud, like your, your spent shit, why are you referring to it? You're probably saving it. You probably want to use it. You probably want to share how you're using it. You probably want to talk to other people about how they've been using their shit. So when you're searching for recipes or how to eat, how to extract ABV, also means alcohol by volume and when it comes right. to like ambient findability the the search terms and the natural language that surround this acronym also naturally surround the abv acronym in the alcohol space whether you're cooking with alcohol or mixing with alcohol so, so there's a lot of crossover for the exact same terms so that's that's why i really didn't like AVB, ABV. Yeah, and I can I always get them mixed up anyhow. I just thought they were dumb in acronyms, and I got mad when I saw it in the Magic Flight manual. When I saw when I pulled out the 50-page manual that is the Magic Flight launch box instruction book. 50 pages? It's a fucking ridiculous manual. Um, it's not all manual, obviously. It's a lot of pictures, and it's been very refined, and it's very easy to read and understand. But in there, you know, I think it was on the back of the thing or somewhere in there, they referred to it as ABV or AVB, one or the other. And I was like, fuck that. Like if if the fucking players in the industry are going to use it in their marketing, we have really screwed this up. Like that should be a forum only type term. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we got to do something better. <laughs> Post extracted bud would be. Ed. Then we got AB Ted. Or Peb. Yeah. Peb. Well, I, I think I think I'm a little swayed away from VB because of VD. I think <laughs> I think that that's enough for me to not want to go over there. So um, I don't get anything like that with DCB. That's that's a clean one for me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the DCB for now. But I'm open to debate at different points in time. Yeah, I agree. I think overall the sentiment in the chat was probably that as well i mean there were some for all but we, we saw more dcbs on the screen yeah yeah and two the two letters almost makes it more challenging through three letters makes it more unique it's like a password kind of in a way same same principle yeah you, know, you don't have you don't have five letter passwords anymore my first yeah. password was only five letters i remember it i remember it very well and it was secure for a long time it well, even DCB. I mean, that's two words, but we've chose three letters. You know what I mean? You could just go DB for decarbed bud, but we went DCB. So yeah, I, I'm with you on that, man. I'm with you on the on the anacronym thing you're talking about there. So <laughs> call it ass already spent shit. It works. Jesus, Jesus. Shit. <laughs> I mean I call it. Dude, trash. that is brilliant. Is that in the chat? I love that one, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, it's great, man. It. Somebody said I love it. it. I might call it ass. Let's 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 switch over to ass. Put that in the marketing materials. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Print that shit. Magic Flight Launch Box in their uh, 2024 version of their manual, which they no doubt will come up with because they're still in business. You know. All right. Let's get moves on that penalty, Deb. And uh, <sighs> and then. Um, does it count because we were on? I don't. I don't think it should. You were. You were. You weren't calling it that. You were describing the process. So I don't think. But you just kind of called it a penalty dab. So I was going to go with it. But I, I wasn't going to call that a, a penalty dab. Okay. That that that's not the spirit of the penalty dab, in my opinion. True. True. All right. Let's move move forward. Then. It's not that it's not that I'm against saying those letters. <laughs> I just don't want to call my DCB ABV or ABB anymore. That's all. Yes. I agree. That was that was a good point. Did you see what uh, cannabis hardware came up with here, with the uh, DIY hot hole situation? No. What's up with this, man? This is interesting, huh? 
Yeah, so this is the, Clampy. Not to be Clampy. confused with Clippy. That's a Microsoft product. And uh probably get through Clippy. Too, yeah. right? Oh my gosh, that's great. I remember Clippy. <laughs> and with this with this visual. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to have a dab. Brilliant, Troy. I love it. Looks like you're trying to build a DIY hot hole. Trying to save three hundred dollars on a, a Zenleave platform. So yeah, you, you buy this little thing, and then you can uh, build build your own. I don't know why these all three pictures are the same. I want to see it with just the coil. Well, no, one of them's got the the heat shield too. Like, where's the heat shield in all of this? Oh, this one's the with the bang with the Bangor. See, it doesn't come with the coil. It doesn't come with the heat shield. It doesn't come with the piece of wood. This what is am just, I buying? It's just the the metal clamp version right here. So it's this little this little head. The with pole the, goes up the bunghole on the bigger piece. Okay. Yeah, with the clamp that holds on to the coil, and then the leg, the stand. The, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not sure what the proper term is, but the piece that holds the clamp up off of whatever you mount it to. You mount it with the threaded end, I guess, or does the threaded end go into that big piece of metal and then you mount it by just dropping it in a hole? I'm Clampy not sure. Is, uh, this is interesting. I'm I'm more confused than enlightened at this point because I would not want that without the heat shield. So for me, it ought to come with the heat shield. Yeah, I don't know. And I would want the coil too. Although I guess they're saying you can use whatever coil is better for your your setup. So yeah, yeah I think this is because a lot of people already have their own coil. I think that's why a lot of people they're DIYing this shit. Yes. They 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 see the the dab ready and the Zen Leaf and these other things, and they're like, "Yo, that's a big fucking commitment." If I already have three e nails sitting here at my desk, yep. you know, yep. I don't want to buy shit that i already have so doing something or diy where they're strapping their coil to a bunch of zip ties and clamping it to whatever on their desk as a diy solution cool i'm not that handy and i don't trust my handy skills my handy skills are are fucking zip ties and duct tape and i don't i don't want a hot coil breaking and falling and I, I just want to trust these manufacturers on this stuff. I want clamps and bolts and screws and shit with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Right also, on. the time, like for for me to do a project and take three trips to Home Depot or whatever, <sighs> dude, that's a whole day. It's like, never done in one trip. I, I I fixed the upstairs toilet like a few weeks ago because mm -hmm. like I was I was sitting here at night and I could hear the like the thing running and I'm like, oh, something's wrong up there. Holy shit. I, it took two trips to the hardware store and probably only two hours of of work or less. Probably you know, probably only an hour of work, honestly. Right. Most of it, most of the work was Googling shit. But fuck that shit. Fuck that noise. Dude. Also, the, the 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 flusher thing inside that toilet. Is yeah. connected to the other flusher thing with a plastic bag that's tied in a knot. And I didn't do it. Just saying. Like and it's been working there, the whole time. It's been working the whole time. Yeah. That's the best part, man. And I took it well, all apart and I, and I replaced the little flapper that had like just disintegrated. Yeah. And I put it all back together with that plastic bag. <laughs> Dude, it took me two trips to the hardware store just to take off and put back on a shower head. Like I was pissed. I was like, this should not be two trips to the, the fucking store. So um, I had a tape in there. I had them take something apart for me to check something. And when they did the O-ring that was in there fell on the floor and we didn't notice. And I got back home and got everything together and it was leaking and the O-ring wasn't there. And I thought, oh, I bet it's on their fucking shop floor. And it was. So I went to go back down there for my O-ring that was getting walked on. And then... uh your o-ring was getting locked yeah out. but i mean i couldn't get pissed at them they were doing me a favor of taking this thing apart i couldn't get it undone so i was like you know so i'm not gonna be hey man you were doing me a favor and you screwed up what the fuck is that all about <laughs> they didn't charge me for that you know what i mean so uh yeah i just have to look for the o-rings next time so anyhow um 
dude i wanna uh i wanna do this new thing where emily plays this thing and you show us this thing okay uh do you, do you do that explain now? it first so we've talked about it for a long time where where we look up some some shit on troy's craigslist and see what kind of vaporizers we can find or see what other kind of weird random shit we find and uh, i think tonight we actually have a little intro clip for it yeah. hey craig what's on your list beautifully short i love it I, is that because i made the beatles reference last week i like it i don't know what is i like it it's really regardless hey i can buy two dollar bills on craigslist isn't that cool i just saw that yeah oh no i, no, I lost them all right so this is if i was if i lived in la or someplace cool like that in california where shit's been legal forever and they had craigslist i might find some vapes on there and that's what you're gonna show because there are no vapes on jacksonville craigslist i can tell you that yeah, like I, I like I like to check to see what kind of vapes I can find. But I I the first thing I noticed when I moved here is the shit that people give away on Craigslist mm -hmm. is fucking kind of bougie sometimes. Like there's some nice shit. Like you right. could you could scour I I could scour and I do scour Craigslist like a motherfucker. Uh those turtles. Holy shit, they're selling turtles on Craigslist for thirteen hundred dollars. God damn, there's some pretty turtles. I'll give them that. That My can't be illegal. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's legal. I don't think that's legal. But hey, you know, I'm I'm not a cop. Hey, thanks, Brian. It's right here. Yeah, a lot of times I can find some really interesting shit. Vintage wood boat. Look at that shelf, Jerry. I can make it a little better. That's cool. Let's search for some vaporizer. Oh, look at that surfboard. How much is that Robert August longboard? $995. That's what I would expect. Okay, nice. You know what's funny is, uh, so I, I've had a Craigslist addiction for like going on 15 years now. Uh, I would go to Craigslist 15 times a day and search for Weber grills. So I'd, I'd go here and I'd search for Weber. And... Uh, Aside from the Weber grills that I that I find, when I moved to California, I started finding fucking surfboards, and I find oh, this, no. all these Dewey Weber these Dewey Weber surfboards are always coming up. And now I kind of want one just because so I've, I've, I've seen them so many times. Yeah, dude, that's sweet. Damn, glass end fin, dude, dude, that is gorgeous condition. I wonder what year that was made. Like Dewey Weber, we're going back, dude. Like that's that was that was back in the sixties and maybe seventies. Yeah, thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah, wow. I, they're they're expensive. I've noticed that. There's another right, long, cool. long, long. What about vapes, there. man? You got some vapes on here, man? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's a vape show, long. man. I'll I'll, I'll make so, you look at surfboards all night long. <laughs> a, a lot of a lot of terms get nixed by Craigslist. So if if you search for vape. Craig's just like, nope, ain't, ain't got nothing for you, buddy. But if you search for okay. vaporizer, vaporizer seems to be okay. Oh. So you got a PAX. Oh, you got the Aramed there. What is what is this thing? Joe Motel. It's a globe. That's an old globe thing, man. Oh, and there's boxes of them. Holy there's shit. Boxes of them. Where, Where did that thing? come from? Jesus. Got a PAX and an old Aramed. You see this? Dude, 100 bucks for that. Nice. Yeah, this thing pops up. This thing's been on here for about a year, I would say. This same one? Yeah, he just keeps reposting it. Let me see the he, other pigs. He's missing the bull piece. Oh, well, that's his problem because it's a specific piece of glass. Like, you don't just yeah. get any down stem, so fuck that. Nobody's, nobody's going to buy. Sorry, dude. That. Like, it's, it's useless without that piece of glass. There's a volcano with the travel case. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Eh, you can get a new one for near that on 420. Volcano classic. Another one, 225. Oh, that's a that's a good price for a glass thing. Dr. Dabber Ghost. Oh, right on, man. Dr. Dabber Switch. How much for Dr. that? Dr. Dabber Switch. How much are that those? Vapor Brothers? The switch, the switches are 100 bucks. Thanks for a switch. The, wow. 
VB 1.0. 200, 200 bucks. bucks. No, 200 he's not bucks, man. 200 bucks for that, man. Dream on, brother. Not that whip. Look at that would fucking be whip. Dude, that whip looks like he's been using it for 20 years. That's that's like your proxy glass, man. Like, I, imagine. Well, you don't see me trying to sell it for fucking full retail. <laughs> Block the picture of that whip, bro. That is some shit. Oh yeah. Holy shnikes. Both of those are oh, look, garbage. <laughs> there's two whips. There's I think yeah, he was that's why it's so expensive. Through those, man. He was smoking through them. Imagine making whip milk with that. Wow. Wow. But it tastes like ash. Look, a more. You leave all these volcanoes and shit you've got, look man. All the volcanoes, yeah. Those are old digits right there, aren't they? Or are those hybrids? Those are hybrids. Those are hybrids. But I think there is a digit on here. There's another classic, another Pax, Pax 2. There's here's another uh, classic. Look at this one. That old solid valve. Is that what that is? The, the solid valve on there? Solid valve on top. That is definitely an older model, man. That would that that one might be on the shelves at, at the stores in Bickle Factory. Bro. Right? That's a fucking... <laughs> Like that big yellow ring. I don't I haven't seen one like this. Well, I know the easy valve, what we've got. I mean, that 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 but that that volcano just looks old. I think it's like an old print, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool, man. 300 bucks. Is it those that this solid valve? That's an old other packs. A Da Vinci IQ easy. two. Is everything a hundred bucks on here? Is that the deal? This is great. Packs three, 150 bucks. Puff go peak, 75 bucks. What? Oh, it needs Needs a new atomizer. So 75 for the basin glass? That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, dude, Jerry. What is this? Look at this motherfucker. That's the fake Kano? Yeah, the Fuji. What in the fuck? Look, it has that same yellow ring. Yeah, it's it's it, they're ripping off the valve there, that's for sure. But what the fuck's going on down below? That's amazing crazy isn't it i've see that i've seen the one that's like the phantoms show me more of this but this one yeah this one is different that's the solid valve connection yeah okay it's a bastardized solid valve so i don't i don't have anything solid valve what the fuck uh, wow i've heard of this thing how much do they want for this uh Three hundred dollars. Fuck off! He can keep it with his vapor blunt. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Golly. Yeah. But still, I had, I have not seen one of those. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted, but not not three hundred dollars. Here's a, a Puff Guardian. What? What the fuck? What is there that? has been, I, I have seen Simrels on on my Craigslist. Fuck is this? What is this Guardian? Is that a? Is it's, that a? It's like proxy. Yeah, it's or? the Buffco Peak Guardian Edition with the. Oh, got it now. Now that I saw it like that, I get it. I didn't understand it from the other picks. Oh yeah, it's, that's pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. With the. Uh, like the slips. Socks and slides. Slides down there, man. That's so funny. Wow. Is there more? No, no that's, that's it. So that's a Vortex that they were selling down there. Where'd you right? see the Vortex? Is that what that is right there? The Simrel? Oh, is yeah. A, um, Simrel Collection Dynavap. The Modular Vortex XL. Nice. Nice, man. We have made it to Craigslist. Yeah, Simmy, you're there, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not the first time either. I've, wow. I've seen I've seen a couple Simrels on here. Yeah, man, that's the ticket. I've never been on there. That's dope, man. So that's your sixty listings for March first, twenty twenty four, on the LA Craigslist. Was this LA or actually this no? This was this was Orange County. If I change it to Probably gives me most of the same shit. Craigslist is like that, you know? Same shit, different order. 
couple extra things. Vaporizer. Got some bongs down there, some glass and herb accessory. Fuck, got some rolling trays and shit. Yeah. And shit. It's right on. The Los Angeles one only gave me 30 results. The Orange County gave me 60. Right. And most of them were, these were in there. So San Diego. The okay. old whale's yeah. vagina. Yeah. So all of Southern Cal has got 60 used Craigslist vaporizer listing. Vaporizer for dry herb enthusiasts and more. What the fuck is it? Atmos something. <laughs> yeah. It's just a box, bro. Atmos what? Oh, there you go. We'll click that one and make it bigger. What this one? Is that yeah, what is that? Oh, it looks like trash. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like hot trash. <laughs> looks like cancer <laughs> in a box. IQ2. Wow. Wow. Da Vinci yeah, IQ from Pasadena. Same one, man. Same one. Yeah, same. Is that another Aramid or the same Aramid? Same dude. There's a Silver Surfer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. How much same one for a hundred bucks? Fuck yeah. Bucks. yeah it's that's bad. the deal. That's the best. Okay, so that's what to get on Craigslist: a hundred dollar Silver Surfer, man. It's got the the weird. Like dog it's the dick. original, yeah. The that you Nipple. hold it up and you can twisty it around. That's that's the older one. Yeah, that's an older version. I like. I don't even ball. know if they still do those. Do they still do those? I think they still do. You got the ground glass and the spherical. I'm aware of is what they call oh, them. But I don't know what else. Oh, here we go. You for forty yeah. bucks. Forty dollars. Like, wow. Like brand new. I wonder what's wrong with it. Does it say uh yeah no that's all just paste from the for the marketing but 40 bucks yeah even that's the original cue there so right on yeah, 40 bucks fuck okay, yeah man yeah. all day long and then uh another vapor brothers doesn't say if it's 200 the, bucks i assume it's the, the 1.0 nicer whip whip yeah, that's definitely a that's definitely a one point over there. I know you want that aromed, but no bowl, Jerry. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it without the bowl, because I, uh, I, um, I had one before with some broken glass. I was you can't use it. You know, it's better to have the shit that works. So, ready for and some that's the shit that, that's the shit that always fucks up because you should get stuck in there a lot. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for the tour of Craigslist, brah. A lot of fun shit on my Craigslist. Uh, what's what's crazy is like around like eleven o'clock at night, you, you hit the the for sale homepage and see the things that are most recently listed. You see some weird shit. You see yeah. Some weird shit. Yeah. I used I used to troll Craigslist a little while back, I and mean, you're right, man. You can get some some funky shit. So. Some funky shit. Funky shit. Yeah. Well, like, bro, we need to get into our topic. Let's let's hit some vapes, man. All right, that sounds like a plan. We can do that. Was there any? Uh, we're just diving into this shit. I think so. I mean, do you want to introduce the topic? Do you want me to introduce the topic? Do you want to? Uh... Well, I think, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a stab. I mean, I think it's kind of fun. We were we were talking about some topics, and Troy came out with like, well, what about some stuff that's like not around anymore, but it was you know irrelevant or um, or you know they were noteworthy at one point, and and maybe they still are, maybe they're not, but something along those lines and and it was a neat idea and as we started rattling off vapes it got neater like uh, there were some pretty cool vapes that we got to pull out so um we've got about six different vapes here one two three four five six seven different vapes uh that we picked and um we're gonna hit some of them and it'll be fun and so they've got some cool features that you probably haven't seen in a while or at all unless you've been around a while so anyhow this will be fun man this will be fun yeah yeah for sure uh I, I kind of wanted to spin the the topic in a way where it's like compared to like modern vapes and how we got here, but I didn't want to misstep on any vape history or 
give credit where credit isn't due because right. we really don't know how we got to where we are today. Like we know the features that we like and uh, we're going to, we're going to share some of these vapes and kind of point out what was cool about them or what was different, what was notable. And uh, maybe even talk about why they're not relevant anymore, why they didn't succeed. Uh, we're not doing it to offend anybody. So if you like these vapes, fucking great. I like some of these vapes too. Yeah. Uh, might might talk some shit tonight. So uh, get your uh, get the sand out of your panties before True. before we start. There's even at least one vape here that I don't like, and we don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't usually do that. So that'll be. I don't like that. Just vape. one, just one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I see a place for all the others, but this one vape, I just you know, fuck that thing. So, anyhow, well, what's uh, the well, what's the first vape you want to you want to pull out? Um. Well, do you want to hit something? Because we're gonna hit something. Let's say what you wanted to hit, because that that'll that'll hit. Or, or, but if you want to wait, we'll pull something else out. Sure, we can. If you let's do if, it. If you're itching to to get a bull, I'm uh, itching for a hitting brother. On the the one the one vape on on this list that i was actually like like yeah well i'll i'll hit that i'm excited to hit that like i i like this vape i've always been a big fan of this vaporizer and most of the vapes that that this maker has produced it's the rbt molana nice got the classic rbt guitar pick logo cool. up in there now the way the way this vape works uh, let's make myself big here can i i got you you got it there we go so it's a it's a stem style vaporizer which means it's very quick to load and unload so you you load your herb in here in the glass stem tip this one has a, a glass cooling nipples uh, because it's a convection vaporizer and before we get into the how it actually works uh what's kind of neat about this is the guitar pick in this instance serves as the circuit disconnector the circuit breaker so when you okay. put the, the pick up here it separates the copper from the battery terminal and the battery terminal is actually connected on the other end here so this copper and this whole top is actually part of the heater circuit so when you're pushing Crazy. the button, like that's that's all part of where all the juice is going, and it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a cool cool design that way, and it's very simple like that. You, there's just the one button to to turn your vape on. You just pull that little guitar pick out to the side. Make sure this little wheel is tightened down enough to uh, make a good contact, and now you have basically an on-demand full convection dryer vape in your pocket right ta-da 18650 replaceable it's kind of like a unicycle you got to learn how to use it learn how to vape with it but once you get the hang of it man you can you can really pop it off you know yeah and it's in the it's in the class of like a tiny mite as far as it's a high calorie motherfucker um, I'm rolling with the, the, the earlier model, the Zion here, and uh, the Zion is is got a nice little battery door powered to two batteries there. Uh, same same button uh, voltage knob, so it's not temp control, but this would just kind of change your starting point and, and maybe you know change the curve a little bit. But it's very much manual where you you pulse the button and ride it. Um, the heater's down in here. The heater is a uh, a stainless steel mesh ribbon that goes up and back down. And uh, it's it's huge, and it's basically a, a high, low mass, high surface area heater to get this instant on demand monster con convection. There's a whole glass tube in here that it's inside of, and then mine comes with a lid, but um, I don't put mine on because uh, the battery here came out, and I put it in backwards, so it doesn't it doesn't stay on. I gotta I gotta I gotta get that battery and fucking undo the magnet. So anyhow. The lid is cool. You know, you got a little, you got a little cool little cork here and a place for your, your herb. You can put some herb in there Got a place for a stir tool right there. And then this is where you would put your, your stem. If you had the stem that comes with, I like Troy like to overcool this thing. And so I've got the one that 
we were hitting the fucking stump with or whatever that thing was. I mean, the big, when when he remember that big stim he had, and I was like, I want that stim, and so he sent me the link, and I was like, this is this is the ticket. So, anyhow, Damn. hey, just pack that little. I mean, this is a lot of shit going on for a little half thimble of herb. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that that that's all we're getting out of this thing right here. But it I've, it crushes it. I got mine packed here. If you want to see, let me it switch you close. over. Yeah, I'm gonna pack mine while we look at yours. Yeah, nice. So it's just a little basket screen. Uh, I used to run. I used to run this vape with uh, a little cup screen that installed in the joint, uh -huh. but it, it required a, a, a specific stem. Not all stems would hold that little little um, right. rimless basket screen in there. This one doesn't doesn't hold it in there perfectly, so I'm just going with a, a rimmed screen for this. Right this on. Case. Dude, I haven't used this vape in a long time. Bro, it's been a minute. I'm with you. And uh, oh wait, Emily, Emily wanted me to to uh, since all these vapes are old, not old old, but they've been sitting on my shelf for a minute. You know, unused. Mm -hmm. uh, they've aged. They've aged. Mm -hmm. Some of these vapes don't feel the same way that they used to, uh, including the Milana. And I wanted to give each one kind of a sniff test, a smell test, and, and talk about the different ways that it feels. Like this vape feels so much drier now because I haven't been maintaining it. I haven't been putting any wax or lube or oil on it. And the smell reminds me of the library, you know, like a grade school where there's like the wood, yeah, I can see that. Old wood and old books. This old old people, old people. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I do not smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has it has an aged book kind of smell to it. it smells kind of funny. It smells kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Feels right on. Dry. I really need to lube. Really need to lube this thing up. Well, yeah, the intake is right there. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit this thing. Go hit for this it. Yeah, I've got mine set pretty low because I remember I liked the, the, you can it's manual. So you can you can cook, you can burn this thing pretty easily. We might have penalty dabs. This is a penalty dab risk vape right here. So you basically hold the button in for a few seconds and then start milking it and play it by feel. wasn't completely sure if I was going to get vapor there or not. To be honest, I was I kind of scared. <laughs> right? I got a little bit, but it needs to heat up a little longer. Or I should turn it up. Like I said, it's been a minute. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I, I wish I cleaned the stem. Longer. I can I can taste the oldness of the stem. Yeah, I hear you. There. Yeah, I wish I wish I'd clean the stem. I think I might get a lot of that tonight. <laughs> <sighs> Now we're rolling. Fuck. Had a pretty decent little roast on the first hit. I may have been pulling too hard if it roasted that unevenly. Yeah, you can kind of really go slow and milk this puppy. It's so open. I forgot how open this vape is. Yeah. And it is. It's riding a unicycle, finding... The, the the draw speed that doesn't overpower the heater. Yeah, the flavor on these is as good as you, as good as your skills allow. I mean, it's full convection heat, so it tastes fine. Um, as long as you don't overdo it. I've got a little center cook in mine. That didn't didn't come off as charred, but uh, that'll that'll tend to spend your taste a little early. That's pretty good for for that. Like mine's your, mine's way off centered, and that's on okay. me. Okay, that's that's my fault. Why? Why would <laughs> off centered be your fault? Because I haven't been 
hitting it the right way. Oh, you mean you want to twist your stem around and shit like that? I don't recall ever twisting the stem around in this one. It was just a matter of hitting it at the right draw speed. To kind okay. Of, but this vape may have changed. Or I may be remembering the Milana too, because this is the first one, and there's an updated version that I have. But I I always like the way the OG Milana hit compared to the updated one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a nice one. It's a fun vape. It's a fun vape. I always like the Zion the best. Um, just because that's the one I grew up on as far as his vapes. You know, um, it's really cool, man. It's just a big ass fucking four by four that's been cut down and it had holes drilled in it and wires fished through it and soldered things. And now it's a fucking vape. And but it's a big hunk of wood. Like it's not shit that was slapped together. It's like that's a solid fucking piece of wood that it, you just cut the corner out of. Yep. It's a, it's a big chunk of wood. That's for sure. Fucking hurt somebody, man. He was remember remember the remember the times he would like run over it with his truck. You know, and had the wheels. That was one of the first videos, I think. He and he did all kinds of torture tests at one point, but I don't remember that. I remember that. Yeah. I I got my Zion not in the original order. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I I got the Milana, and then I reviewed the Milana, and then Ryan yeah. sent me the Zion as like a gift because the Milana review helped his business, I guess. It's awesome. So, man. Yeah. Yeah. This I'm was very, uh very grateful for it. I love that thing. Mine, mine was, uh, I was on the beta test team for the Zion and I think we had four or five of them and mine, we had, we, they were named and mine was named Sarah. And, uh, so, uh, Sarah, I beat up Sarah for a while. I did some video or at least one video with Sarah back when I didn't do videos <laughs> And um, it sounds kind of funny. And then um, he wanted it back. And uh, I didn't want to send it back. But um, he, he said he'd send me a production one. So he did. So, you know, this is, he sent me that one. And then and then when he signed the lid and something and but like the date and the number, I guess. So this is number four off the line or something. Um, cool, man. But I had to give up my beta version for it. <laughs> yeah. I still want Sarah back, man. Sarah had green glass here instead of white. So, uh, and um, Sarah had been abused, bro. Like I had, I, at one point I put JB Weld around the the, the, the joint to kind of, cause there were, there was a leak and I was trying to fix things. And so it was, wow. it was pretty fucked up. So pretty sure uh, mine has green glass. Right. That's cool. You, you talking about your, your Zion? Yeah. Yeah. I like the green glass, man. That's cool. So. Now I just got to get this magnet out. I'm bummed that I put it in the wrong way. Did you see my Zion? Maybe mine, mine is... I don't think I saw it when I was there. Because I know, like... Because he, he didn't have Zion's left. And I remember when he, when he gave me that, it was basically, he said it was like one of the betas that returned and he, he like just updated it or fixed it or whatever. Don't tell me you have Sarah. I don't know. How would I know? I don't know, but if she's green and early... <laughs> it's green it's very early it has the the all the pencil markings for from all the route like where they where he routed it out and stuff to take a, all right i want to take a closer look at that man <laughs> take a look at that. all right dope that was a good fun little memory laner there man i like that that was fun yeah so the rbt milana what's cool about it is by the way what makes it noteworthy is on demand um wide open full convection you know like the 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 venti is remarkable today because it's a powerhouse that is wide open the milana not quite as wide open but pretty damn wide open yeah when i pack mine it it loses a lot because i tend to pack that bowl tighter than i would on the venti same but the but the restrictions open um Bro, this is one of the first on-demand portable convection. You know what I mean? Like, and it was certainly the first one that actually fucking worked, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like when this came out, I was like, wow, man. Like, I just remember for years, I was like, it's the best heater I've ever seen. You gotta do do more with it. 
And so then he did all kinds of shit, splinters and shit. So yeah. Do you want me to uh, get my Zion so you can see if it's Sarah? Would you be able to know? I don't know, but I'd be worth looking. Well, hey, do you know exactly where she is? Of course. All right, you uh, you do that, and um, I'll show off another vape. How's that? Sounds good. All right, cool. I'll show off my favorite since I'll probably talk about it way too fucking long. Guys, you always hear me talk about the fucking square. You know I love the square here, man. If I could have one, one vape back in production, it would be the Hayes Square, man. This thing was dope. Um, power button as well as fire button. Uh, up and down temp buttons. There were four temps to pick from, I believe. Uh, the mouth mouthpiece goes right there. The mouthpiece uh, stows away right here, nice and curved with the curve of the thing. It comes out and goes like that. And then you're ready to go with the mouthpiece. But what's great about it is there's four bowls here, one in each corner. They're marked for one, four, three, two, one. And that's how you switch the bowls is just like that. So you uh, take this off. And now this is the heater and electronics. You can set that to the side. This is where you're going to do your work with the bowls. And there's four bowls in here. Um, there they are. These three are for herb. Right there. And each one can hold about a quarter of a gram. And then this one was for extracts with a little silicone seal over it so that everything would stay in place. And these are the top screens and then everything would flow through there, but you put it together. And then that was the best part is I would have a whole gram in my pocket and I could just walk outside, take an instant hit. And then um, when the bowl was spent, boom, there's a fresh bowl again. There's a fresh bowl. I love this. So I'm actually going to pack this fucker and use it tonight. I'm excited about it. So I am going to go ahead and pack it. This is exactly what I was worried about. As soon as I got in the garage, I'm like, I'm like, I bet that motherfucker is going to be talking up that Hay Square right now. He's going to be talking about how good it was and how awesome it was. Goddamn right. No, no, <laughs> don't believe it. We're going back to the Hay Square, motherfucker. Here's the thing. I love this vape. I'm going to mess with it here. We'll see if it works. I, I had it for Troy once and, and it broke. Okay, that's. Oh, my God. Is that Sarah? That might. Let's just keep looking around, man. Like. That's got a lot of the same. It's the same color wood. Um, let's see what's inside there. Man, there's the plus. Dude, that might that might very well be. Um, any other markings at all? Let me see the lid. Like the actual lid lid. Oh man. He would have he would have added the stash. I don't think there was a stash. Um, but he was always fucking with the lids. But that that thing's got some of the glue. My my weld was gray. So um if he if, if that's Sarah, he cleaned her up real good for you, man. If that might be. Got you a new got you a new lid. The rest of that looks real similar, man. Oh, and that knob too, yeah, with the line on it. Wow, man! I wonder. I I, th I think I think my original one was a black knob, but I don't remember mine's got the line on it. But he would have changed that out if he had if he had you know g gotten it back up to some. That might be, bro. If that was one of the early Bay units, I don't remember how many marks mine had in it, but I do remember pencil marks. Yeah, I don't know what the pen pencil marks are about. But yeah, that, that's fucking dope, man. That uh, copper plate down there with the little burns. Right. I had a hard time getting the batteries out to charge them. Uh, Dude, and then the I wasn't sure they were real tight in. on this. Yeah, they are real tight. Mine doesn't have the plus marks, so I just had to remember that they were reverse polarity. Each one, it didn't matter which way you went as long as they were reverse. And this tool, I believe Ryan hand forged, hand hammered these. From what I'd I be recall. surprised that one looks like it too. Yeah, right on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, so you, you, I, I, I left. You you gave it to her right to work of the Hay Square said a bunch yes. of good shit. I, I remember the story. I remember because we were we were in Vegas. And this is one of the first times I met you. 
first times we hung out. Mm-hmm. And you were all like, like, you got a hey square? And I'm like, yeah. And you're like, oh, I love this thing. And I'm like, what? Yeah. What? And you have one, but you hadn't you didn't like it, or did I've you had not use three? It? No, by the by the time we we were there that night, like had, had you had you used it? Yeah, I, but that night I think I was already on my second one. Oh, let me find it, Jerry. Mine I was crushing it. I was gonna I was gonna pull this thing out tonight and and use it for you just to just to show the world. I mean, hear me out. I I, I hate this thing. It, it's capable of making good vapor. But it is just overly designed and just ridiculously complicated. The potentially one of the worst vapes to maintain in the world. Seriously. I would somewhat agree, except you are taking care of four bowls. So would you More rather than, clean one of these or four of another one? You know what I'm that's, saying? Here's, like, here's the thing, though. It's not just four bowls. Like, yeah, you have four bowls to clean and maintain but there's like four independent vapor paths tucked away under here so you you pull this you pull this silicone thing up and then there's two chunks of metal for every bowl so there's like i forgot about those yeah so you, you pull this thing off and you get eight, eight chunks of metal dangling around on your floor that you got to clean individually. They're pieces of shit. Now you can They're soak sharp. all of them. And then trying to put this thing back together is like a goddamn Chinese puzzle. They made a special 3D printed tray for cleaning and reassembling this thing. That's how bad the design was. Give you that. I'm not even going to put this back together. It took me like... 15 minutes to like pry these things up and like try, try to weasel these little things back in there. I was pissed the whole time. I'm still pissed. My weeds in bowls two and three. I charged this thing. Which is two right there. So then I think, I think, okay, so there you go. You, is it on? Um, If I hit the, okay, so I'm changing the temp there. No, not yet. Yet, yeah. Okay, so it's yellow. I kind of like that purple. We'll see what that's like, and then I should just be able to hold it in. Yeah, it's gonna blink, and then when it goes green, it's ready to hit. I don't. I don't think I can ever hit this again. I don't think I can ever put it back together the right way. It's so hard to get all all of these little metal things to properly line up because if they're not lined up, it won't make a seal and it won't pull air through your bowl. And you'll either get no vapor or combustion, or sometimes you'll get no vapor and combustion. The best of both worlds. Hey, you're awesome, man. I'm gonna go hotter. I don't like that. Don't combust. Don't combust. Right, I gotta be careful because that that did happen at times. I don't know that I ever hit this one. Though it was, it was. Hang on. Ooh, I may have. Yeah, I think we're gonna dab. Did you combust? Did you combust? Did you combust? Did you combust? I combusted. I did. I did. I did. I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up. Time for you to bend the knee. Penalty dab. The combustion is strong in this one. Penalty dab. Penalty dab. Try and Jerry. Yeah, sorry, Troy. I, I, I'm not going to open it because I'm going to vape the other, other bowl first because, as you mentioned, it's kind of a pain in the ass to look at one of the bowls and not you have to open them all up. So, um, yeah, there were, there were design flaws, um, but what I loved as somebody who's just all about the vapor is one of my early production or pre-production units worked very well. And I could pack a whole gram in this fucker and take it outside and take one hit, two hits, and a quarter of it would be done. Instantly switch it, do it again. I mean, I could take down a half a gram inside of a minute with this thing. 
So it was it was awesome. I love that. I don't know if anybody comes close to that. All the ones I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fuck around and find that one because these are all like production units, and the production units are the ones that you combust with. Like the, these things are, they go from cold to combust. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what just happened mm -hmm. to me there. I went from cold to combust on, on, on one temp or two temps. So um, I didn't combust. Jerry combusted. But... Oh, I'm proud of you, man. I'm gonna do this bowl. I didn't, we do I, didn't, job. I didn't load it. I'm not. I'm not wasting weed on this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> After watching that guy waste half a gram of 710 labs in a dead vein <laughs> yesterday, I'm not putting any weed in this thing ever again. Actually, that, maybe I will. I don't know. But not not tonight. I'm not. That highest temp setting is dangerous, man. You can't hit anything at that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to pay for that one. So. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll give it, it had its moments. Like when you learned how to make it work, you can make the square work for you. And I made it work for me. I, uh, I, I, I had, I had its moments. I remember loading it up and taking it to the beach and being able to vape four bowls in the, at the beach. It was nice. But then like, yeah, trying, trying to reload it in the car on my lap. Yeah. You know, it's go back to smoking for real. Right. On purpose. Well, I, I think we'll have to redesign some aspects of it. But what they and showed then, me is you could you could do it. You could make it small, make it strong, and hold a lot of weed and get people fucked up. And then if it's hot and you take it apart, the hottest goddamn part is right here. And it's exposed. It's very easy to burn yourself on this thing. Very easy. Very I did it in my video, I remember. Not, not on purpose. What if that's one of the reasons why they stopped? Like, I mean, I always wonder why they, they quit these things. And I think it's because it just had too many faults and it was doomed to, you yeah. know, it's sort of like the oh. ghost. They were all going to fail at some point. You know what I mean? Like, it's way too many parts, way too complicated. Fuck. This was supposed to be a good hit tonight. And it, this vape is, is, this particular one is not calibrated well at all. So do we have a sad trombone on the soundboard? Do we <laughs> I'm gonna cry where they I'm on, I'm remember, on. they made they made a V a, a first version of this and it almost came out like they did their beta and then they were like, you know what? Back to the drawing board. We're gonna completely redesign how the whole thing connects and how the whole shit works. And we, we learned a bunch of lessons, we're gonna redo it. And then this thing. This thing, so, USB C with super fast charging. Dude, I'll give I it mean, that. It had everything, man. Like, it, and it also, you know, what it did to me. You know what it did is it proved that a little coil in a ceramic housing can make plenty of convection. All day. It's a matter of controlling it now. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised when I saw that because it's basically the exact configuration of a Firefly, just, you know, a different, little, little different. Yeah. Uh, well, even the ceramic housing of the Firefly is similar. But, and then there's a couple other, other vapes that do it too. And every one of them is a solid performer. So that particular heater can can do it. You're right. They can do it, man. So um, let's dab. Let's yeah. chat. Let's dab. All right, Jerry. I didn't think it was going to happen on that vape right there. I really didn't. I thought I got plenty of others to combust with. Not that one. Fuck. Now I get, you know what sucks is I've got, I probably got three or four of these Hayes squares and I'm going to have to go get every one of them and use it to figure out which do one have, is the one that actually is good. Do you have one of the, the nickel ones? I think these are all black. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure they're the, the very first ones were like silver colored. Oh, I've never seen those. I, I think they were the, the first version. It's like only the beta people. But I, I could be just remembering renders or something at this point. Maybe Scott, the goody Scott would might know. Or maybe he left. He would know. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys know this. V goody Scott, before he was V goody Scott, he was uh he worked for this company. Yeah, he was pimping those, man. That's like yeah, that's like was... how long he's been doing his thing.
he's been in this industry for a long ass time. Yeah, Mr. V Goodies Scott. Shout out V Goodies. They had the Hayes duo, right? Wasn't the duo? Is that what it was yeah. called? And uh, that one was solid conduction performer. And then they came out with a square. I won't go into that again, but I sure loved it. And then the square is when they shut down. Like when they, like, it wasn't soon after they released it that they just shut down the whole, the whole shebang haze. So, um, yeah, that's all that vape is, man. That, that, that vape predates V goodies. So, uh, which, as does the other one that we might as well talk about since I mentioned it was the Ghost MV1, which is another one I'm going to use. I'm oh, we're going to penalty you. dab first. We're going to penalty dab first. I'm getting ahead yes. of them. We're penalty, penalty dab. And I'm at six, six, ten. So I'll tell you again. Five, did five thirty work out last time? Looking awesome. Tell me five forty this time. Five forty. Okay. Sierra Leaf, man, you like uh, you like puddles, do you, dude? I was gone by this time of last week, man. Like, dude, that was hilarious. Way out. Like I saw. So I went back and watched the five forty. Motherfucker. Thank you. But, 540. Uh, I woke up the next day and felt like I'd smoked bong after bong after bong. Like I, I could not move. I was so slow and groggy. Um, the day was not bad, but I was super chill. Woke up Sunday, Cheers. still groggy. Cheers. By the time Monday rolled around, I was recovered, but it was a weekend of chill and chill and do nothing. Damn, Troy, where'd you go? Heaven. <coughs> oh, man, that's a big ass hit. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Hayes yeah. also had, well, then it never came out, but it was like uh, a true dual purpose device. A yeah. device with two independent ovens, one for herb and one for concentrates. Yeah. But never made it out. The idea was you could run them separate or at the same time <laughs> and have a true portable dab and a true portable flower at the same time. That's pretty neat. I forgot about that, Troy. I can't that. remember what it was called though. It's like the Haze module or something like that. The Haze modal, Haze. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. If, if they were naming it by today's standards, they they'd call it the Haze Twax. But uh, that ain't what they were doing. So, shit. I wouldn't even call it a Twax. I mean, because it was a it was a dual thing, not like a both at the same time thing no you could you could do one or the other or both at the same time okay at least that's what i remember because i was like fuck yeah man both at the same time all the time like i was like all stoked about that shit so but you know what i've distorted other memories so what was like, it called I would argue the point. What was like, it called? I, I would have to go back and look at some old emails for that yeah i wrote an article about it so i, I kind of remember something so it's probably on 420 vape zone right you're the one i'm coming to you for that one it's all right see it somewhere as well wait i gotta clean my banger i gotta bang my cleaner that's cool did you, you want, do you want me to introduce a vape while you do that what's the next one well i mentioned it so i figured we just skip oh. to, the, to the ghost oh sure yeah okay and then I'm going to hit that one too. So if I can remember how to do it, that's the real question. So. You remember how to turn it on, right? Like it's a it's a funky one, man. Let me show you guys this real quick. Here's my Ghost MV1. Let me uh, do this. This was the uh, the Chrome or the Satin or something like that. Uh, pretty cool vape. Um, you micro USB charge there. Uh, the battery was 
two 18650s, but in a proprietary shell that I'm not going to take off because maybe this is stuck on for a reason. I remember I had one of these things that it was stuck on. Um, but you could slide this whole battery out and put it in a charger and exter charge it externally. Not any quicker, just externally. Um, then this is the cooling unit that uh, cools both the, you know, the vapor as it comes through. Uh, that's air comes in this way, comes down up through the heater, through the bowl, and then up into here. This fucker extends. And you could do it any length there you wanted, depending on your style. And then your bowl is right here. And that's the uh, ceramic bowl with a little metal lid that just kind of fell on, you know, just kind of holds on. So uh, we're going to we're going to put this one to work. See what we can do here. I might have missed enough for that. I might not have to grind some shit, Troy. Let's see. We need, an, an, we need an anti-grinding song. Right? I don't have to grind that shit. Might not no, have, to have to grind, grind. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So that's good enough for me because I don't want to pack it down. Don't pack it. Don't pack you know? it. That very sensitive. Any you do anything wrong with with the MV1, and it's not going to work right. True. That. Metal. In fact, even loading it kind of sucks. I, to do it really easily, you have to put a finger in there and kind of pinch it and set it in. And then it's real nice. It goes in like that. Now we're good to go. Now, damn it, Troy. Is this the button to turn it on? I think the, this one turns it on. So uh, I think I could hold it in. Okay. We got something going on here. Um, there's a button back here too. And at some point you fuck with both of them. So let me see here. Hold it in. Okay, here we go. I think, I think I'm good to go here. All right, I'm holding it in. Is it oh, making I'm the temperature? Sound? I don't think so. I think at this point I'm picking the temperature. Three or five. Um I'm on times. the middle one. I'm in the middle one. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold well fuck it. Let's just come back to this now. So let's just let's just see how we do live without a net. Then you then you hold this button in and it vibrates and starts to do that. And now it's ready to hit already. So How do, you, how do you turn it on? Mine won't. Mine lights up if I hold the button. If I do this, try a yeah. Try triple clicking it. No. Or just hold it in. Okay. Now I'll let go. Now I'll click it. Okay. So now that must be off. Let me see. Okay, so three clicks turns mine on and three clicks turns it off. And then if I hold the button in, it goes into temperature select and I can sort of pick which temperature, I think. Oh, and then I'm supposed to hold it in again, aren't I? I think oh, mine's yeah, dead. Right. You think? I think so. I think it made its last e dude i've got like yellow lights and red lights on mine fancy for temperature selection so i'm going hot now motherfucker we're gonna go hot and see what it does dude so this this vape man i really wanted to like this vape the vape critic had given this vape such positive reviews he had made four videos like giving this thing like the best vape ever thumbs up before anybody else ever got one. It was the, uh, the wildest thing. So when I got mine, it was, it was like the worst, the worst timing ever because like my house was being repiped. So I had like big dehumidifiers and all kinds of shit going. 
hear a little echo. Are you really close to your microphone? No, but I'm, I wasn't saying anything either. I'm not getting anything off this thing this time around, bro. Like, this is the because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's been so long with these fucking controls. What the fuck I'm doing? I'm just pushing buttons and it goes green and yellow and red. And let's see what I can get out of this. I haven't gotten like a, a big, big punch yet. Hmm. Mine doesn't work. I remember the the fast. There was a fast charger for it, like a, a wall charger that you'd pull the battery and, and slide the battery into. Because they yeah they, they charge like sixty bucks for it. I remember seventy five yeah. bucks for it. Was it a fast charger or just a charger? It was it was a fast charger. It was faster than than plugging it in USB. Yeah, I want to say it would it would charge those batteries in like an hour or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck. I'm not having any fun with these vapes that I like. Yeah. Well, at least, at least this one didn't combust on you yet. Uh, stop, right. stop trying before it does. Fuck. The good thing is none of these other ones will, will combust. So no that's true. Penalty. We're, we're, no we're trying. We're lucky if we get the bull spent with these. So that's a good point. So, all right. So what's, what's, what was noteworthy about the ghost MV one? Other than uh, the vape industry drama that that happened around it, I, okay. Um, well, it was it it was kind of like the first mass produced. Like it came out about the same time as the Hayes Square, and so the 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 community was all about these on demand convection vapes like the Zion that we that we looked at. There were a lot of wood wood artisan vapes that were doing that kind of tech. But nobody was mass producing anything that the whole market could take advantage of. And so uh, Hayes came out with a square. This came out at a similar time. And they were really the best options at that point in time as far as availability for people. Uh, that's that's what I thought was novel about it. Everything about it was expensive. Um, they were pissing money marketing wise. And, Dude, and right. 60 they, bucks for a battery charger, you know. So. And they sponsored that uh, slightly stupid tour. They had the right. big ghost tour bus uh, yeah. every, uh, on all of their tour stops. <laughs> right. It's crazy money going at that thing, man. So they were having fun. They had the biggest spots at the at the trade shows and cool ass setups and all that. But um that's what for me was it. I mean, they did some cool shit. It was over designed, but the way they had the extendable mouthpiece, the uh, the way the cooling unit, you know, would you bring incoming air that's cooler than the vape to cool the vape as the incoming air comes in, and then it gets to the heater and it comes up in the same cooling unit that you were your your cold air was cooling down is now sucking heat from the vapor. So it was like this really smart way to. Yeah. preheat the air and cool the vape with just the simple act of hitting it you know it was really it was kind of neat it, it didn't it didn't work because it was of the design but that that concept i think was brilliant sure yeah i agree i agree uh and on demand full convection like great first hit vapor when it delivered was yeah. remarkable like like in, in a perfect environment with the perfect packed bowl and everything was sealing right and everything was in tune, you know, this vape could deliver a remarkably fucking great first hit, you know, like thick extraction, wonderful terps, great expression, not super charred, but thick ass vapor, you know. Yeah, one of my probably 10 or 12 best hits ever was off one of these with you at the trade show when we were in the room with Patrick and all those guys. And they had this flower that they brought in and they packed the vape. And dude, that that ghost was tuned. It was working. Like they they made sure that the the, the ghost in Patrick's pocket was always going to perform. And I got an amazing bowl off that thing. I was like, holy shit. And I still remember. I mean, it was an amazing fruity flavor. And um yeah, you're right, but but then again, 
look what just happened. So <laughs> it's, it's inconsistent. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was the hard part. Finicky. Yeah. It was finicky. And yeah, they were throwing the money around. Like they they invested everything into like their plans for the future as well. Like they they were developing the MV2. They were developing the next version of this thing. That was like a single battery unit. Then they had a pod version that was using like a, a K cup style. And they, they had machines that they were going to give to growers and farms and shit like that. So, so they could integrate directly with the vaporizer at the grower level. Like they had it all de in development, dude. Like they were, they were just all over. It would have been cool to see that happen. I don't like the K cup thing. Like I don't, I don't want that. I don't want disposable like, like people who buy their their weed to vape buy it in little disposable. Like I'm gonna vape a bowl, and then you pop in a little paper thing, and and then you throw something away. I don't want that. Right. I don't want that. I told that guy that that ghost I didn't like that. He didn't like. I that. wouldn't want it, but. I would use it, and I know a lot of people who would, so uh, I'm with you on that. Uh, yeah, Emily, you just asked what was what went wrong, and 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 first of all, um, like we mentioned, it was it was finicky. It was it was it was the unicycle that you hear Troy talk about all the time. You had to you had to nail that that technique, or and there was a lot to it. It wasn't just your draw speed, man. Like it was how you ground, how you packed, how far you extended that fucking mouthpiece. You know, then yeah, draw speed, you extend you know? it too far. You you fuck it. Uh, everything, all that shit. So it was it was a pain in the ass. It was it was hard to get people to get what this thing could produce at a time when the mighty was kicking ass at consistency. It was like, and it was it was just as much money. I think it was like three hundred and fifty bucks or something. It was expensive. Um, so yeah, it was expensive. It was inconsistent. It was financed. So then it, when it didn't just go like gangbusters, you have investors that say, fuck it, I'm pulling the plug. And so then it doesn't matter. You know, it's just gone. But I think what really did him in Troy was the, um, was the defects. I think uh, at the end of the day, um, somebody did the numbers and said, guys, every one of these stealth units is going to come back in the next 18 months with a broken latch. And, and we're, you're going to go out of business. <laughs> you know, I, I think that's kind of, I think at some point somebody did the numbers because at one point when the batteries were going bad, they were opening. Remember when you couldn't get batteries for it anymore? Like everyone's wondering, is it going out of business? What's going on? And the first sign was you couldn't get batteries. They were going into packaged units and pulling the battery out to oh satisfy warranties. And some go, wow, man, you're sacrificing an entire unit to do. Oh, it was, well, it was crazy. Because, because of the battery shortage thing that happened, the, uh, it, it went from being able to buy batteries on demand to having to order them. And there were 10, 14 months out on yeah. batteries. So yep. yeah, that, that would fuck them if they, if they weren't on top of that, if they didn't yeah. see that coming, they that's didn't. what Jurgen was, was talking about. He's like only, only big companies that are able to order monthly and invest 50 grand in batteries yeah. can deal with that type of shit everybody else fucking suffers right that Crazy. sucks man especially with I something mean, like a battery you have to have a battery for this shit yeah i mean i'm sure the battery thing was was like probably the straw that 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 got them you know on, on their camel's back but this thing was so reliant on the exact setup so like, let's say you get it and it fucking works great. You vape 13 bowls, you vape 20 bowls, you're, you're vaping 50 bowls. And then all of a sudden it starts to taste like shit. You got to clean it, take it apart, bunch of parts to clean. It's like one, two, three, four, five. You got like five parts plus all those little bowls. And if you don't put them back together perfectly, the vape no longer works. Yep. Not, it's not that it doesn't, doesn't, uh, work quite as good no it just doesn't fucking work anymore you, it, where's the vapor <laughs> it's like well you, oh you didn't you didn't put the silicone gasket in there exactly at the right angle you got to do this thing first and do this thing and then it was it was a, a chore yeah 
it was a serious chore. It was, it was like operating a gun, you know, where you got to like take it apart and clean the, the, this and do the shit and rub peanut butter on your belly and all the other shit. It was like, Oh, it was a lot of stuff to, to do. And people just want to smoke their goddamn weed. That's I'm going to show you what Troy's talking about. One, you just pack a bowl, vape a bowl, dump your bowl, pack a bowl, vape a bowl, dump a bowl. There's your cooling unit. You had to push on the silicone thing to get that out. And then this was maintainable, but you would pull this out, which is fine. But the next move is to, it's already coming apart, to take this off. And then there's this big shell and a gasket and another ceramic sleeve. And there's so much going on, Troy, that I'm not going to take it apart. because No, know take it I'll apart. All right. I just don't know if I'll get it back together, but here, here you go. You can so do you it. got this. Put your ass into it. Put my ass into it. I love it. So there's the top. And then here's the silicone. Pull that gasket out. Pull it out. Yeah. This shit's been together for a while, too. I'll tell you what. Don't forget that little ceramic okay, tube. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. I know you got some old gunk in there. Oh, yeah. This is this. Oh, is the ah, geez. <laughs> So, yeah, the, the incoming air would come down here and then go down into the unit, up through the heater, in those holes, smash into that, go around this, and start going into some kind of fucking matrix that cooled all the shit. But anyhow, then this, you know, there you go. So you could soak this ceramic. This piece of ceramic right here, one piece. Look at all the different custom parts that are just, you know, proprietary custom parts, not off the shelf. Very expensive vape to manufacture. Yeah. So that's let's why see it was like three, like 375 when it came out. Yeah, dude, it was bucks, bro. Let's see if I can yeah. get it back together. This is the part that's hard. This, if you can get this part on your, your money, but okay. I don't know. I don't like how that's popping off, but anyhow, then this goes back in. you got to get this in the right way. And that's not totally fucking obvious. Um, it's going to go like this though. And then you just push that fucker in and we're back in business. This fell out along the way. And honestly, that little crack on the back that I showed you, you remember that gap that I didn't totally close when I put it back together? I that's remember when you showed me your, your crack and your gap, yeah. Oh, I love you, Troy. Um, that that piece right there, like that little thing, that's the kind of gap that could just, just you know, in, into the vapor. Now totally. it doesn't work. So, it's, it's, yeah. It throws off the suction. It lets in a little bit of air or something, and yeah. suddenly the... The convection is uneven and it tunnels and it just doesn't work anymore. Beautiful vape, comfortable to hold. I mean, it had a lot going for it. The buttons just make no sense. The lights make no sense. Oh yeah, like this. Let's, let's this see latch. if we can make it from space. It's the vape, vape from space. <laughs> this latch is uh, what was breaking as well, Troy. That was another failure point. That once that broke, like. At least with the battery, if you had batteries, you could fix it. But once this broke, that was mm -hmm. an entire. They were they were just replacing units, over and over and over again. So anyhow, yeah. At one point, I had, I had like five. I, I had five additional uh, Ghost MV ones. I I only saved one. I only saved one. I I, I gave the other ones away to uh, some Ghost MV one users. But yeah, they just kept sending. Like I bought I bought the first one with, with my own money. And I, I gave it the like very much potential, but also big problems kind of review, you know, like I illustrated its problems caused a bunch of drama in the space because of the vape critic and all his fans. And I was, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean it to be like a whistleblower type of review. It was just like, yo, this vape mine has problems. That's all I'm saying. Right. And, uh, yeah, they sent me replacements. Replacement sucked. They sent me a replacement. The replacement sucked. They sent the replacement. And the, the, the stealth one came out. And the stealth one was the first one that, like, yo, this one, this one's not failing on me. It's like, it's actually working reliably. It's like, I've cleaned it. I'll put it back together. Like, two years later, like, okay. And the whole time, like they were, they were kind of strong arming, you know. Like every time I, I'd, I'd meet them at the industry show, they would, they would kind of do the strong arm thing with me, and they'd be like, 
we'll pay you $75 commission for every vape you sell and we'll give you the the same buyback deal that the vape critic has well we'll we'll pay for all the buybacks so you can offer a guarantee you just got to got to change your review i'm like you got to change your vape I'm like right. I, I, I i can't change my opinion until you fix your shit so yeah two years later they they kind of finally did you know it came around but man that's the fucked up part is when you said the stealth was the first one you got that kind of worked i'm going holy shit that took a long time that was, yeah that was planet of the vapes was carrying it already at that point yeah i mean that that stealth was they came out with three or four colors and then stealth was later and then that came out kind of just before they had to shut down so that was yeah that was uh, towards the end it took them a while to get it to you what do you think jerry do you think there is going to be abu shit oh yeah i, I think it. there's weight in there there's weight i in called there. it i called it abv oh troy the dcb <laughs> word dabbing time and you caught it before anybody else did that's what i love about <sighs> it, so. well let's check let's check i say there is there yeah. is yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's always weed in the mv1 ones because you, you can't take them out they're too hot to handle yeah they're too hot yeah you, you vape a bowl it's too it's and it's too hot all right look i'm gonna hit a, i'm gonna hit a big bowl now because none of these vapes have done what i'd hoped they'd do so uh even my beloved square didn't, didn't cut it so back a bowl of my screwball it's not all that dark you know jerry you're throwing that out bro i don't know what you're kind of trying to get, uh, come to here i what if, what if it's like my old blueberry kush though it, then you throw it out <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is going to be the same no matter what what if you throw out there bro okay it's it's been debold right, it's thank been you. debold <laughs> <laughs> it's probably from an episode of this show you know yeah a, if we look oh, at the fuck. last time the last time we had it was like a year and a half ago maybe or something we did that shit because oh, i don't true. i don't i wouldn't i would not pull this vape out i would not use it unless someone else was here and they used it you know like blake or something but i don't think that happened I know he's, he was a ghost MV1 lover. All right, so fuck. I thought we had a DCB audio track. No? no? What do you mean? I, I thought, oh, maybe, maybe it was just on the soundboard that he was working on. Oh, you mean where he was going to call it out? Mm hmm. Coming soon, it sounds like. He's working with uh, StreamYard on that shit. Oh. oh. Dude, this vape is spanking, dude. <coughs> is fucking spanking. What is? This screwball. It's fucking spanking, man. Like, Fuck. It's fucking spanking. And then we're going to do a dab after this. Yeah, man. <sighs> I apologize for that. It's all right. Between my vape and your talking, we're gonna do a lot of dabbing. <laughs> what if my coffee is still hot? Hey, you want to see a funny view? Hi. Oh, it's a big pile of DCB. <laughs> nice. Where am I? Right here. What's up, guys? I was worried that you were gonna do like the switch to the under the the desk cam, and show me like your crotch. Oh, yeah. crotch you cam. remember that, don't you? You remember that? I remember days. that. Yeah, those were fun. Man. Did that happen to me? Like where my my camera swiveled, <laughs> like, like under? That's what happened to mine. Did that happen to you too? Yeah, because mine's clamped onto my desk, or it used to be. Yeah, mine used to be too. Not anymore. Jerry's desk is a DCB dude. That's right. Yeah, I, I remember when we did that that episode with uh, Vape Critic. Remember when we had Vape Critic on? Yeah, <laughs> and I, I had I had my camera 
uh, behind my de bowler and there was a big mountain of DCB. Yeah. <laughs> all the way up. Yeah, dude, you've, you come up with some of the biggest ones ever, know. man. Like you've done some, some seriously big piles. Thank you. This one's uh, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. This one's pretty impressive. Like the, the bowler is right here. Um, and so it's just poking out of all of the stuff. So if I were to try to, it's a long tray. And so if I try to get to it, I got to scoop it down the tray at this way. It's just time to empty it. That's for sure. So anyhow, looks green. Maybe it's just, I should the, light uh, these days, guys, man. I mean, I don't, I don't take it dark. It's not green, but now I, there are some, there are some sugar leaves in there that I I've been peeling off, you know, so. Oh yeah, whatever, okay. Whatever Good. you want to call Good those things, the smoker leaves that we don't we don't we don't use. Yeah. yeah, sugar leaves, sugar leaves. All right, so we got some more vapes here, man, and I don't need to hit any of them, but we're going to talk about them. Which one do you want to? Oh, wait, real quick, the ghost had this uh, cool little um, pod holder for your. Oh yeah, I gave mine away. I gave mine to some lucky Ghost MV1 user. Who uh, wanted all my shit? It's pretty cool, man. Did they? They had it all. They had it all worked out, like you said. So, all right, enough about the ghosts. So, what do you want to do next? Which one of these, man? We got. I thought four we had more. to do a dab. Did we not do that? Let's do a dab. Did, uh, did we? I don't think we. Did. We didn't do a dab. I'm just high already from that bowl. That bowl was good. That bowl yeah, was. Hold up! I see jail. a comment that I got to highlight. Oh, yeah, what do uh, you got there? Dude, this BCD Tofu House, I love this place. I was actually going to take you there when you were here. That was one of the places I'm like, I should take you there. But since you were uh, agreeing to eat meat anyway, I was like, you know what? Let's take them to other places. It's a place called DCV out there? Yeah, it's a Korean place. Cool. But they, they have this amazing tofu soup it's called soon tofu soon so tofu. it's got a bunch of bunch of tofu in there it's really fucking good right on. Oh, yeah this cool. is the place oh bc okay got it is that what i was saying what was going on i thought we were doing dcb i didn't realize it would change the letter <laughs> i thought we were ripping off a restaurant or something so that's cool yeah that's all right right on that's the good shit I can get with that. I Next time you're here. That. Next time you're here, we'll go there. Look, Troy, here's that shatter you wish you had. Ooh, look at that shatter. Did uh, Michael J. Fox get out of the time machine and uh, give you that <laughs> from 2017? Uh, no, but he did eat a dick. Whoa! Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Troy always hacking on my shatter, man. I love it. Uh, that's so funny this stuff uh no you know I, i've been i've been around this year and that was a that was a colorado special that was like <laughs> fucking eight bucks a gram it was cheap he's michael j fox i like michael j fox i actually I actually like grew up when that like i mean i, I remember what was it family ties is that was that was that the one that uh, he was in so yeah um i remember that show when i was Do you remember the theme song for the intro I couldn't sing it for you. I, if if you got it going, I would be able to go. Oh yeah, you know. Do you remember it? I remember it. it's like they're painting like one of those like paint the. It's like the family picture, but it's like one of those paint the paint in between the lines. It's like that's their intro while while the song plays in between like clips of the characters. But no, I I thought I I thought I could, but then as I as I played through more in my head i think it's the cheers song it might be the three's company is in my head right now yeah yeah that's good because i'd rather is have that, that cheers or is that that's uh, cheers that's cheers yeah fuck all right no I've, I've got in my head i've got coming knock on my door oh you bitch. we've been waiting for you <laughs> Shit, that one that one will be in my head for a long time. Right it there. will, bro. You're screwed. Dude, like, out, earlier in the week, my wife, my my wife, uh, was playing like the Lilo and Stitch soundtrack, 
Yeah. And fuck, man, one of those songs was in my head for like two days. Like the one of those Hawaiian little Disney songs. Yeah. Dude, I can't remember what the song was now, but holy shit, it was so catchy. It was it was it was just like grinding. And then I would forget about it, and then my wife would like sing it, and I was like, no. Some kind of oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah, yes, dude. Jesus, <laughs> I made I made edibles this week, and yeah, we're taking a break from the topic for a second. I made edibles. I made gummies, Jerry. As we yes. do this dad, as we did, do you try? Day. I, I want to know about those. I I went out of my way to make these gummies as potent as possible. Yeah. So like. With all that flour that was in my closet, you remember all that flour was in my closet. Um, I only used like the the densest of the nugs. I kept all the the trim and the shake to a, a different container for a different batch, and uh, I, I ground it up and I used as little as oil as possible for the infusion. That way, the oil comes out as potent as possible. And then I, I worked, I worked a uh, half a cup of oil into this batch of gummies and I made like, I don't know, like 12 gummies or so. And, uh, I took one. I would imagine, I would imagine, by the way, I'm at 540. Uh, from, from what I can tell each, each one is probably around two, two, 250 milligrams for like one, one cube. Okay. I made. Right on. I cut them into, Halves and then fourths. I've been eating fourths in the morning, and I don't have to vape during the day at all. Cheers. That's fantastic. Do you feel much different? Because I'm sure it's not the same effects or, or high, but I wonder if it yields the same results. Yeah, it's not quite the same. And uh, <coughs> it's more relaxing. A little more a little more chill. So two hundred and fifty milligrams is what gets you a noticeable positive baseline. Oh, more it's it's probably more than a baseline. Okay. When I, take, when I took that whole cube, yeah, I was, I was rocked. I was, I was watching uh, Warrior, this this show on Cinemax, Netflix. It's fucking great, by the way. Uh, I was watching that, and there was this scene where this mother was like forcing the daughter to leave in a, in a safer place, and uh, it was it was kind of a sad. Seeing, seeing like the, the forced separation and them crying, and it, and it reminded me of uh, when I first got married, and my my wife came back here with me, but then she had to go back to the Philippines to get the visa because we got married in the Philippines, and uh, she couldn't stay here legally, so I had to drop her off at the airport, and she went back to the Philippines, and I stayed here. Wow! And it was it was super sad. For me yeah. and this like i was on i was on the edibles and this fucking show just like made me relive it again like it was Whoa. just like i was just like bawling i was like watching this show and i was hugging my my wife was sleeping on the couch i was like hugging her oh. and <laughs> crying and that's cute yeah i was wow. fucking looped you know you know remember how the, the super strong edibles like give me like the emotional crazies like i remember remember when i was crying at but uh champs yeah that and also at brian's yeah we, we've had some we've had some moments there well yeah. those were mushrooms everybody yeah. cries on mushrooms <laughs> yeah well we were vaping too but yeah you're right it was the mushrooms there so yeah. but my point is yeah you can you can lay down a tear or two <laughs> it's just when i get uh the super edible Super strong edible high. Yeah. It's weird. Anyway. Don't forget to uh, clean your banger there, Jerry. Yeah, did it already, man. 
No. Oh, well, you're running the Rio. Yeah. The Rio is like so easy to maintain. Yeah. I'm still rocking these little dab sponges. Uh, should I use those with my Rio? I'm not right now. Do they work with the Rio? With I your don't Rio? Know. I guess I should try them, but what's your how do you how do you use the sponges in a routine that works for you like do you keep them in a soaking jar or how, how's that shit work what sorry i was reading do you, do you keep them in a little do you keep them in a little jar of alcohol or what do you do with those things uh no i just keep them dry and i i spritz them with alcohol right before i'm about to use them and then i kind of clean them with the same paper towel that I drain to okay, as I'm yeah. cleaning. So, you know, I have like, that. Oh, right on. And I'll That's keep one paper towel in use for like the whole day or two days, three days sometimes. Mm -hmm. It'll get nasty. But it's just like reclaim, you know, concentrate, reclaim. All right. I'll have to see because I don't, I don't clean it the way you do. So I'm not sure if I'll have a, as good a time with those sponges. I didn't enjoy them the first time around. So those things they're are... they're not perfect by any means. And sometimes I still use like one Q tip. But without without this, I'm using like three or four Q tips or stuffing a paper towel into that banger. The the nice thing is it's it's long. It's longer than a Q tip. So I can put it down into that slurber and sponge things out. And if I need to, I can, oops, I can, I can put a little piece of paper towel around it and use it as, as like a, a scrubbing tool rather than have just you, a sponge. Have you worn one out yet? I haven't. Although the, the flexible one, this one right here, mm -hmm. uh, this one has like a tear right, right there. Oh yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And I see it. Some sometimes when I'm when I'm scrubbing around, I see like it, it it's poking through that hole, and I gotta like whoops, like right. be careful. Gotcha. But overall, these these two things are I like them really handy for dabbing with the slurper awesome. regularly. Yeah. All right, I'll have to try it with Mario. But I'm usually flour and not not oil so i won't get as many opportunities on it sure all right jerry what's the next <laughs> there's three three more turds over here on my desk which 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 one's next can anybody guess can anybody guess or were they all in the thumbnail uh they're probably in the thumbnail they're on the blog post but um yeah uh i've got four on my on my desk so what? i'm not sure which oh, one i do too one of them fell okay. over i see it now all right, let's uh, let's go with the um, the Vivant. Let's do that. Okay, uh, a little V Leaf Go. Yes, this was a neat little vape, and uh, if I can if I can tell the story behind it, uh, I was doing con some consulting with Vivant. I did it for about I don't know six months or so. Uh huh. Uh, Basically, it came about like they they asked me, uh, they they sent me a vape and I gave it a, a pretty shitty review, and uh, they they asked me uh, to help their engineers understand the vapes and and they 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 they're local to me, so I, I met them and I met their engineers, and they were like, "How much would you charge to like?" come here and and like work with with the engineers on like a regular basis and uh i really didn't want to go there like because they, they're they're like you, we want you here like 20 hours a week type of shit so i threw out like one of those big numbers that that freelancers do when they don't really want to take the job right and they're like okay <laughs> and I was like, and you're like damn Fuck. <laughs> like, okay, like, I, I guess we're doing this. So they paid me a bunch of money to go there nice. at, like twice a week and work directly with their engineers. And one of the first things that we did is like, like the ideal 
cheapest vape is like something that you can easily load, whether it's whole nug or dry herb, straight out of your grinder. Like I showed them the Dynavap. I'm like, look at the Dynavap. It's cheap. You pull out your grinder, you pull your vape, and you go, duk, 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 and you, you pack it. Like I want, I want something that you can pack directly from your grinder and then hit it. And I, and I said, I said, I want it to be potentially one and done. Like I want, I want to be able to hold the, hit the button, wait a few seconds if needed and go. And I want to be able to get one hit that is substantial enough for me to put the vape away if I need to, because that's what a lot of people want out of the vapor. Like I want to sneak out and get one hit and go, hell yeah, that was great. Maybe two hits. And that was the mission of the, the the Vivant V leaf go. Now what they did that was not part of the, the mission uh, is they made a removable modular heater. You can he take just the took, heater. He just took the bowl out by the way. And then the, the, the heater is underneath it. Yeah. Sorry about that. I took, I no, took the good. bowl out the bowl, the bowl just like, like twists out. And then you can take the heater out, and the heater is replaceable. Like they actually came up with different designs of the heater, and you can actually pop this little door off here. Whoop. It's crazy. And see the little mesh coil. So this is a, yeah. a, a mesh coil heater. And basically, they learned about mesh coils from devices like this yeah and the tubo evic yeah so uh the if you want to hear the saddest story in the world jerry uh not, not usually my 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 first pick but if i'm i'm not against it <laughs> uh in order for for their engineers to learn about dryer vapes i started taking my vapes in there like every time i go in there i would take a couple of vapes and i'll take some weed and i would vape in front of them and i would show them like here's how it works here's like this is why this is awesome and here's why this you know because they were just like from the e-cig space they didn't have a full yeah. understanding and when they saw my tubo evic they got very excited because they saw That's their funny. own parts they were like they're like those are our coils they were like i rec that we recognize that like that is made with our shit <laughs> nice nice and, and they immediately like 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 how much is this we'll we'll buy it from you we'll replace it i'm like uh okay like it's like 260 fucking swiss francs or whatever but good fucking luck you know you gotta right. wait in line and they're like, well, we'll take care of it. And they, they immediately started like taking this thing apart just to get these coils and figure things out. And they went on this like this goose chase and they ended up developing like a 510 vape with with mesh coils based nice. on like this whole new like, oh, we can use our e-cig coils as little convection heaters. So eventually this little thing crazy and yeah this this company had had massive footing in the e-cig space yeah like very big like the the biggest probably so yeah uh, remarkable little vape wasn't perfect wasn't perfect i think i think a couple more refinements this thing could have really been spectacular though you know Dude, i i want to use it um I've got it charged and uh, is yours charged. I don't know if mine's yeah, charged. Although my bowl screen looks like it's like that. That looks like it's too small of a bowl. That can't be right. Oh, uh, mine's dead. Um, I charged mine, so let me put a little. It looks like a micro hitter. Uh, this bowl is pretty small. It I is. Guess. Okay, cool. It is. A, it's a small bowl. I um. I just remember that. Uh, hang on a second. Oh yeah, there you are. Wait, no, wait. Show me. Wait. Okay, show me that bowl again. Because I've got a screen in mine that probably shouldn't be there. Oh yeah, I got a screen. problem. Yeah, I've got a mesh screen on the top of my bowl. On 
Oh, on top. Bro. Oh no! You know what it is? This is—it's the screen from the mouthpiece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, I was about to switch over here, so so you can that, see what was up. I was gonna say the, the mouthpiece is kind of where this vape fails because yeah. it doesn't have it doesn't have ample cooling. Shit. The initial design it was like a silicone piece with a like a thread of stainless steel. I think it was what it was. I tried to do a ball mod where there I filled it with with That's balls, cool. but right now I don't know what the hell is in there. Kind of scared. That's what's going on. Yeah, my 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 screen assembly keeps falling off into the oven, and so I got to get that put together. It's a pitch. My my O rings are all stretched out. Oh, my O rings are stretched out. See, th this vape didn't age all that well. Like these O rings. They they get old and and stretchy, nasty. Look at that. Mine are black and yeah, mine mine are fine because I didn't use it much. But oh, they pull them in are black there. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna put this in. I don't want to pack it, but I want it full. Um, do I want it? Is it okay if it's like outside the oven, or do I want it to like that silly pull up full? Uh, I mean, it's just not gonna be all that efficient in that space. Yeah, right. loose pack. Loose pack with this one. I'll go with that right there. Put that together. And then um, I'm going to put know, on my bubbler. Oh, okay. I was going to say the cigar puff technique is the one that I always liked with this vape. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. And then do you remember how to navigate this fucker? I think it's like three clicks to change temperatures. It's like two. How many temps are there? Three. Okay. So that's the highest. Okay. So I'm going to go low. What, what do you recommend? Tell me how, how, how should I use this thing? I would try maybe the orange temperature for you. Okay. You don't want to combust. All right. And then it's probably what? Uh, three clicks to auto or just hold it in? Because you can just hold the button in, right? You can just hold it in. You can yeah, just hold it yeah. in. And it'll flash a couple of times and then it'll, it'll light up when it's ready, I believe. So I'm just going to do that to it. it mine, mine's too dead to work, unfortunately, so I don't know the interface. I didn't charge it. Mine should be fine. It's blinking orange. And I guess when it goes solid... It's ready? Yeah, it just beeped a bunch. Or not beeped, or blinked. Okay. But then it, 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 it turned off, so maybe it didn't charge after all. Oh. What if you hold it in? Uh, I don't think it's working. Three clicks to run sesh is what Weedy's saying. When I gave it three clicks, it lights up for a second and then does not stay lit. Oh, there I just, triple, I just triple clicked it on red. So let's see what it does. It's going to blink until it's ready, right? And then it just goes triple. The, no, see, it, it goes off. I think that's telling me something's fucked up. Uh, Unless I'm supposed to hit it while it's blinking. <laughs> 10 vapes I hate about you. That's pretty funny. That was a good movie, by the way. That 10 things yeah, this isn't like going to work at all. Motherfucker, every, every one of these vapes I charged and loaded up, they're just not going to fucking do it. I'm not going to get well, one good session off any of these fucking portables tonight. I think this vape is still on the market. I think you can still get it. I don't know if it's worth getting or not. I think it's like 60 bucks. Yeah. For microdosing, if you're into microdosing flour, it's actually not a bad option for a super budget. I thought the fucking thing, if they just cooled the vapor, was a winner, bro. The size is killer. The price is killer. The hits are strong. That heater, we know that heater works. It's like a little RBT heater, RBT heater in there. So the, the fucking thing, like my problem is, is I couldn't hit it native because it was too strong, too hot and harsh. So it was definitely making vapor. You know, if I put it on a bubbler, it was great. But I was like, well, then I don't need a little dinky thing. I, I, uh, you know, it's sort of like the grasshopper problem where 
yeah, it's small enough to go in my pocket, but it's too hot to, to hit. This thing at least didn't overheat that I remember. Um, gosh, I was really rooting for this because it had some really cool features and the price was ridiculous. So I I think if this vape would have would have been pushed maybe like a year later or two years later, like if if, if the timelines had been different. Because imagine this with some balls in that heater. Imagine this little heater that's been optimized for balls, yeah, and a little mesh heater instead of relying on the mesh for the for the calorie transfer. They, they didn't know about it at the time. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the end thing. It wasn't. It wasn't happening yet. I mean, the symphony maybe existed, but the symphony wasn't any anywhere. I go in your pocket, right? But imagine, imagine if, if, because the the guy that that did the that designed this is is like one of those fucking mega geniuses. Like he's a really sharp guy. He's one of the reasons that I actually like agreed to work there as like a consultant because that dude was like remarkably smart. Nice. I like. I like hanging around really smart people, you know? So, yeah. I don't think it needs it. Like, um, I don't, I don't think it needs balls. Like for its size, it's got a lot of calories, you know? Um, and, and, you know, same way that, that the Zion doesn't have balls, but when, when it, when it works, you know, it can really punch you. Um, and the, you know, all the, all these, all these vapes here that I actually like the punch on are just little coil heaters, but, um, yeah, the that thing for me, it was all in just taming the vapor. All they needed to do was tame the vapor. I thought the vapor was was enough, honestly. Like I was really impressed with that little thing until until yeah. it hit my back back of my throat. Yeah, so. I agree, man. Yeah, it's the unfortunate thing about the the size. I mean, you take you take the battery, and then you you separate the battery from the electronics, and then you separate the electronics from the vapor path. And then you, you got this much space to, to work. Right. You know, otherwise you you got a device that's a weapon or it's too long for a pocket. You know, you got to keep it pocketable. Run around with this motherfucker in your vape. <laughs> yeah. Vape, exactly. It's a problem, man. It's a problem. Some people give it a shot. Some don't. But it is a problem. So. All right, we're getting long, but we're going to finish. Let's do the That's next couple said. vapes kind of quickly. That is what right? she said. All right. Is the next one this big water bottle thing? We can do that. Yes. The Hydrology <laughs> I, 9 by Claudius. I wanted to like this vape. I, I, I'll be completely honest. Yeah, I, I, when, I, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, my shit. That's kind of ridiculous. I, kinda, I, I need it. I need that in my life. I, I want to like it. The... the it has like the the big thick glass beaker bong style tube tube style mouthpiece, you know, like yeah. the, that's the mouthpiece. Like, that's cool. Yeah, and with the with the cap, and then it has a built in bong that you fill with with water, right? Cool. Yeah, huh? and then built in stir stick. Why, oh, Jerry? Baby. Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's going to have an awesome uh, conduction bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? But there's a stir uh, stick. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to pack loosely and still get some vapor and stir it, fucking more power to you. If you want the vaporizer to perform, pack it, pack it tight, and just like cram it in there, and then don't worry about the stir stick because. Because uh, you won't be able to turn it, and it doesn't do a damn bit of good anyway. Because the whole ceramic housing is 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 hot, so you're just moving your weed around, you're just like <laughs> twi twisting yeah. the weed within the bowl. Uh, no the way. vapor from this thing, you don't taste it. There, there's there's so much the, the the filtration, the percolation holes are so tight down there that when you're when you're pulling vapor, it's super super tight. And the, the the filtration pulls out so much flavor 
that you can barely taste your weed with this vaporizer. Which means like if you really hate the flavor of of weed and your vaped weed, this is a really good vape to have. Like if you really hate that fucking taste, this one will this one will filter out a bunch of the taste. It's like also it's a pain in the ass to clean. Like the like we use this two or three bowls. It's gonna look nasty in there. You're gonna have little balls of fat and shit because it's gonna filter out so much weird shit from the from the vapor that you don't you don't taste. You gotta maintain it. You gotta clean it. It's such a pain in the ass cleaning. You got it comes with like three or four special brushes. Remember this? You get this thing and it comes with like four brushes. All these different brushes for the different size holes that are in there. You gotta like take it all apart. I'm not even gonna attempt to to use it ever again because cleaning it was was such a royal pain. Packing mine right now. You're gonna pack it and use it? I'm I'm gonna fucking put yeah, yeah, it's charged. Why the fuck not? Everything else has failed. Watch this be the best hit I get tonight. (laughs) That's hilarious. You know? Uh, Doing the sniff test. That is, oh, dude. It smells like. Oh, you took the tube off. It smells like I, I grew up in the, in the eighties. I was a child of the eighties. If I were to find like the, my fucking floaties, like those inflatable arm things from like when I was five in my, in my parents' basement. If I were to find them right now, this is what they were to smell like. They were to smell exactly like it's like a really old Funny. pool breakdown of plastic smell. It's nasty. I have uh I'm trying to pick a certain temp. I can select the temps. I've got it on, and I'm selecting temps. But to actually fire it up and engage the heater, I don't know if it's like hold it in. Okay. Is that doing something now that the lights are strobing? I don't know what any of this shit means. I don't think you should use that, Jerry. No? If that vape is as old as mine and you yeah. ever put water in there. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, that, that, my mine smells like somebody jerked off into it a bunch of years ago and it dried up and now the only thing that's left is like the spirit and the smell. Yeah, that sounds kind of gross. It's gross. It smells bad. Mine's not. Doesn't seem to want to do anything. Cool looking vape. Cool looking yeah. vape. Bro, you said it perfectly, man. The marketing was great. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh my God, look at that. It, 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 it's a portable bong. It fits in my pocket. The old school mouthpiece. A stir tool, it must have an awesome full convection heater on the bottom that'll blow my mind. Oh my, I can't wait to get this. And of course, you know, it was such a big company that it hit the magazines before, you know, I didn't know anything about it. And then when I finally got it, I was like, okay, it's a little bigger than I wanted, but I can live with that. And then um, as soon as I pulled out the stir thing and looked at it, I went, oh my God, that's for a conduction oven. And I immediately wanted nothing to do with it. Um, I was a little biased at the time. Uh, then I filled it with water anyhow, and it leaked. So I'm like, God damn it. The fucking thing leaks. It's got a crappy oven and it's bigger than I wanted for that kind of an oven. I was like, this is silly. So mine is now warm down here, but the lights don't do anything. I don't know what to make of this. Anyhow, mm. uh, feels like I'm getting some. The Hydrology 9 by Claudius 9. The brand Junk. that puts nines and all of their nines. Junk. Junk. This is junk. <laughs> this I don't is say the, that very often. This is the brand that has the vibrating weed grinder as well. 
Oh yeah, that actually if it's it tonic quality, nine. That's right? Tonic nine by Hydrology nine. Claudius okay, nine. look, this thing is a solid build. Like, I'm it impressed is. with the construction. So if that grinder is constructed like this, I'm interested. That's kind of neat. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I don't know. Why not? I mean, it's a that. gimmick. It's a thing. I'm already it's using a, a gimmick grinder. It's got the it it's got the nipple door on the side. Yeah. You can't replace the battery in it. You get, you can only charge it. And then once that battery goes the shit, then you, you're stuck with a grinder that doesn't eject its weed anymore with the stupid door on the side. And it's a pretty shitty grinder overall. So yeah, if you've had one and said it sucks. I won't bother with it. I've got a lot of grinders, Jerry. Yeah, I just didn't know you had that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. All I, right. I go out of my way to try to have them all. I, I have like all Pokemon grinders. disease, you know? Yeah. 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 I can see. Like, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> there's there's a pattern there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay. So, we don't like that vape. Um, I think it's junk. You think you don't like it? Uh, I don't buy it. I um, mean, it's an amazing design. To be yeah. honest, like yeah. and the fact that it all works together, like remarkable. To be honest, there's a lot of remarkable things. The case that this thing came in, I remember this. This it came in the super premium case that was just wow worthy. Yep. The case felt like it was a hundred dollar case for real. Yep. Like I, I think Again. I keep a camera lens in this case to this day. Like I don't keep this vape in the case. I think I put a camera lens in there or something. Because there wasn't enough frosting on this piece of shit already. We need to get a case for it too. That's just like, and a nice case can't be a shitty case. I don't care that it doesn't work. It has to have the best case in the industry. Nailed it. So, fuck this thing. All right. Speaking of, what's the next vape to fuck over here, Jerry? Let's uh, let's do this uh, eye leaf, e leaf, eye sticky thing. The uh, that's what's it the, called? The the eye stick is just the brand of the mod. That, I know, and I can't attached. ever Neo it's Pearl. The, the, okay. The, yeah, Neo Pearl. Actually, this is the Neo One that I have. It's the same as mine. I think it's the Pearl. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You can't get them, so who cares? They're out of business. I I begged this this company to put balls in it. I'm like when when I saw the design on this thing, right? Like I'm like I'm like is this the this is the glowing coil in there? Like it's perfect. It's perfect for a ball vape. Please, please just put rubies in there. Please. And I'm like, no, the coil works great. I don't need to see the need to put rubies in there. Please just try it. Please. Well, I I don't know that their their coil is robust enough to handle that, but Dude, it's worth a shot. What if what if they threaded it with? those rubies with holes in it like ruby beads like five mil ruby beads just threaded on that yeah. coil around there yeah. you know i say i say they send you send you a version let you see what you think man they're out of business now jerry bear yeah, i know i was i was rooting for these guys you know they're they're using a standard like troy said a standard box mod that you can get um in stores and they put a big fucking heat sink on it and this is what they came up with right here was this shit and this is a you know custom proprietary ceramic housing um with a glass screen or some shit in there and then they had this little silicone kind of a surrounding so that you could mate it to your bowls so the idea is that you know you could you could have your bowl packed and then this thing would come in here and seal with it and go to town and you could put that on anything and put it on any bong you want. Um, great idea. A lot to deal with there. All the people out there who use these ball vapes know about how much a single millimeter in difference will do between the flower and the bowl usually, or the heater usually. So a lot of variables to deal with there and a lot of tweaking to go from one bong to the other. But ultimately, um, it i i i just think it didn't get hot enough for people bro like the guys who made this thing 
were growers that like to get together and taste each other's flour and pass it around and really focus on the flavors and all that. And so they never bucked with high temps. They were always in the low temp realm. And so this made sense to them and it would work because they could all pack a pipe and everybody could just have their own pipe and pass it around or, or you know, it, uh -huh. it was it was nice that way. And so for what they wanted, bro, I think they really nailed the target. They hit it. But, it, uh, it, you know, it was kind of like, I don't think it's a target a lot of people are going to want, but you guys did and nice work. So anyhow, um, yeah, I could, I, I would, I struggled to get bowls tan with this thing. You know what I mean? There, you'd be a lot of green DCB uh, going on here. So um, I think that's why it probably didn't do well in, in the overall market, but nice guys did what yeah. they tried. The, the technique, the technique was to, you had to remember what was it with the, with the five ten like the stem pods and those, the, the other Z splinters and shit like that. Right. A lot of the mods where you, you had like a 10 second hit limit. So you'd run it for 10 seconds and then you would, you would right. run it again. You kind of do that with this. Yeah. And then you would also do the cigar puff technique. So you'd, you'd preheat the coil for the yes. 10 second. And then you preheat your bowl with the okay. cigar puffs until you get a little bit of vapor. And then you do this again. And then you go nice and slow. And then you get like a bowl third cycle you get. So. Okay. So you get good vapor, but it took three you, cycles of prep. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> This is too much work, man. It's too much work. Totally. Right? And then if you didn't get a good seal on it the part way, you know, because you had to cut the balls and move the thing around. And... Yeah. 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 Too bad. I mean, it's high quality shit, too. I mean, I like the ceramic is nice. I mean, the they, they picked a nice mod. It just... And I love the idea, Troy. You and I have talked about this. Anybody who's sat around in a vape circle with a bunch of stoners has talked about, I just want to vaporize where I can just, it's hot, goes on any bowl, vaporizes anything. We've all talked about that. These guys went for it. And they did make a, a little pipe that had the perfect shape bowl for it. So that would work. And they started making some others yeah. before they had to, to fold up. Dude, but, I, I should have yeah. got out the little wooden pipes. I, I was looking for mine and couldn't find it. I don't know where it is. So I, I know I kept mine. It, it was one of my favorite things about the the original because the original one, uh, the one before this one, I forget what it was called. It was sideways and it had a wooden head, and it had the glass tube on the side, and you you would hold it sideways over the bowl. Interesting. Yeah, and that that was the one that I actually uh, rocked. I remember when they sent this one. I'm like, yeah. The, works fine it just doesn't have enough oomph and they're like really let me send you another one and they sent me another one i'm like yeah it's the same thing there's not yeah. enough power you know to do what i want to do and they're like really let me send you another one they just kept sending like yeah the, the, yeah yeah okay well disappointing because i really that they were really nice people like like they were they were out there in oregon growing weed and and, and making a cool vape and and i was yeah, i was hoping good things do, for them. hope they hope they do more more cool shit down the road you know right they're fucking reels man yeah all right we got one more this one's cool as fuck <sighs> uh not gonna use it but i do want to show off some of the internals so uh, this one did not fare well in terms of no. aging no, like, mine is gunky uh, as hell. Is your sticky? Yeah, it's so uh, sticky. I can I can pick it up without like gripping it. It, it has like its yeah, own. I got the green one too. So I, I feel like it's gonna leave fingerprints. It's it's so weird. The the surface of this vape, I am leaving fingerprints on it. I can kind of see it in the light. Bro, I'll bet you mine's worse than yours. Oh, this is nasty. This is yeah, this is the side, dude, that, I at the side it. that I cleaned. That is, yeah. The, whatever they did to this plastic surface to make it feel like all velvety or silky, yeah, does does not age well. It's it's sticky and clammy and gross. Or look at this. Oh, what happened to your vape, Jerry? Yeah, that's that. Do you see the sticky fucking print marks on it? It's just fucking nasty and it, that's just fucking sitting on the shelf look at i tried to clean it with iso see the streaks oh uh, yeah you can't put iso on it I, iso will make it worse 
I didn't do shit to it. I mean, it really I, did just kept wiping shit off. I did a video about that, Jerry, back in the yeah. back in like 2017 or 2018 or something. It was like a that. while back, man. This is a while back. So this was the this was the interesting. It was it was it was when the, we had some of our first uh, um, all convection full convection session vapes, where it wasn't on demand, but it was full convection. And what these guys did was really interesting because this bowl here. They were like, oh, we should give people different bowl materials because that makes a big difference in whether it's full convection or it has the heat soak or whatever. And so they came out with this little little tool right here, little fucking Star Trek-y looking thing. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, you basically go in here and you un unscrew the, the top. See, I'm unscrewing the top there with that. And then the, the top comes out with this O-ring and then there's the actual heater and the and the yeah. thing inside you're running a then, wooden bowl i know man like i was going for the full convection right because i wasn't trying to cook the weed i was trying to taste it and i probably would appreciate that now whereas back then i was trying to cook it more but this is one wood uh, i also have like a, a cedar kind of a wood here um then i have a what uh what is this like a walnut maybe some kind of a dark Dang. wood and then uh, I found uh, I found the quartz, which is what I used probably to, more to get those oomphy hits. So yeah, okay. I'll, I'll put the quartz in there now and keep the wood the, out. The quartz is the one that I had on installed in mine as well. Nice. So I, I, from from what I recall, the 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 flower mate Swift came with quartz and like two different woods, and then the CFV came with quartz a wood and like a titanium how did that um i don't remember i remember that they had like stainless steel titanium i think at some point randall had a few gold ones that were made so i mean they were they were fucking wow. with materials you're right and they may have even made an aluminum or something i really i really don't know but they had a lot of materials these were the only ones I could find, but I know I have more than this. Like I remember I had a metal one of some type somewhere. So um, it'd be it'd be it'd be fun to chase some of those down. Now I've got somewhere. Oh wow! I wish I'd seen that before. Um, all the way up top there, I have uh, a Swift Pro in the box. Um, so anyhow. Yeah, right. So the, what's in the box probably didn't age like this. It's probably nice in there, but I've got a blue one and a green one. Probably have a red one somewhere. Wow. You so got all the fancy shit. There was one point I was like, you don't see colored vapes very often. And I was I was like, Yeah, oh, hang on to it. And of course, now we got all the Da Vinci's and the Lobos have got a few colors and the mine's, taxes have gone crazy. Mine's actually charged. Bro, rock on. I wonder if mine will turn on. Mine I tried to charge it and it was fucked. Fuck, I mean, might as well, might as well try to vape it, right? Go for it, bro. Turn it all the way up. Just don't. Shit, I just don't want I, the sticky shit outside. I ain't having it. I, I ain't hold. I, I don't want to touch it. It's the shit's all over my fucking fingers, man. It feels like rubber cement. Good news, bad news, Jerry. Yes. Okay. Good news is my grinder's empty. Now I gotta grind some shit. Bad news yeah. is, now I gotta grind some shit. Oh, you. Hello, this is Betty White. You need some time to grind. All right, we're gonna hit this thing here. Is that what we're gonna do? You gotta, you gotta give me a moment. Now I gotta grind some shit. Now I gotta grind some shit. Now I gotta grind some shit. Now I gotta grind some. Shit. What strain you got? Drummer and gelato. Now I gotta grind some. I just pulled out a nug, dude. Now I gotta grind some. Now I gotta grind some. Now I gotta grind some shit. Let me grind one up. Pink strawberry gelato. Dude, the problem with that fucking jingle is I don't, I don't grind. I get into it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to grind. Did that's same. I had to like rush into it and make sure I get my shit done. Oh god. Pink strawberry and gelato. I'm going back to my uh my screwball here, man. I'll make it matter. I'll make it work. I'm gonna 
try to hit this uh, Swift Pro. I'm impressed. Thanks. Is it already heating up and all? No, I should have done that already. No, you're good, man. It heats up pretty quickly. I just didn't know where you were in the process. Oh, as soon as you, as soon as you turn the heater on, the battery goes to the bottom. Right? I may not have enough charge after all. all right. I forgot about that with this vape. Like the bat the battery indicator is fucking worthless, if not evil. Right. Like <laughs> it, 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 it was it was full. It showed it showed full. Oh, come on, stop focusing on my hat. Hey, right. Full on the outside, one on the inside. Yeah, it, it showed full. And then I turned the heater on and it's like junk. Like all the way to the bottom. One blinky. But it's heating up. We'll see if you can get a hit out of it. We shall see. You didn't have to take it all the way to 446, but it's there. Right. Forget to prime it. To do the smell test. Yeah, so this is definitely a cigar puffer. Oh, I forgot about the restriction. God. Yeah. Is that restricted and you don't get any vapor? Oh, motherfucker. Turn the fuck back on. My fucking heater head's off. Pit timed out. Wow, that was a big old hit you primed. You primed a lot. It was tasty, you said? Mm. That's definitely the hit. I like to try to pull on it and it didn't do jack. That's better than I thought you'd get. That's better than any hit I got off any of these motherfuckers on my table. For sure, dude. This was aside from the Milana and the Zion. This is this is well, yeah, this is the most capable one. Well, it was the one vape that well, there were two or three of these that were on store shelves, but that was the one that lasted and didn't go belly up. Yeah, I just quit making it, so. That sticky outside is fucked up. Oh, yeah. I'm trying not to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You talk about not aging well. That one failed the fucking age test right there. But I'm impressed with the yeah, See, The boundless CFV is the same way. That one had a little better shell. I don't think it had this outside shit going on with it. So. I see. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if I can reach these things. Let me do my burb. So there's a roast on it. That's going to take me a second. Kind of centered. Did you roast it there pretty good? Thumbs out nice and easy. Who, me? Well, yeah. Oh, oh no. That's right yeah. the keyboard. Right. That. I was wondering if there'd be a CFB up here, but I don't see that. Eee! Ooh, I caught that one. Hey, that much arms. Nice roast. Had a little green on top. But yeah, all right. Look at I emptied the DCB. That way, this thing can go on the shelf empty. Good job, my man. Here's the here's my blue one. Look at that. That's pretty. Let's see, uh oh yeah. yeah. This is this is nice. This isn't all fuckeried up. This is what it was like out of the box. No, oh, no, still silky smooth. smooth. Yeah, feels great. Looks nice, feels nice. So that one. Yeah, that's the way to go right there. You got little things for the buttons. Are they doing that right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that blue is pretty. Yeah, I like that, man. Let me see if I got that. Okay, there I go. I was doing that wrong. And then uh, let's see uh, a green in its prime. All right. 
not as shiny as the yeah, uh, yeah. very satin. Look at the satin. As far, yeah, it kind of does. As far as what's uh, in here, I'm curious with the rings, bro. Like, um, what kind of rings are in here? Okay, so I've got this wooden ring. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, that's another quartz ring. I was hoping that was a metal one, but it's a quartz. So I've got one, two woods, a quartz, and uh, I think that's it. And then in the actual vape itself is a wood one. Yeah, so, huh. And they were, they were shipping them with wood in the uh, oven. Okay. How's that sound? So they they were shipping with wood, but they included the quartz still? Yeah, quartz was in the box. And 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 a couple other wood ones in there too. So anyhow. So I remember when, when the CFV was updated, they got rid of the swappable bowls on the boundless side and they went with like a stainless or a titanium bowl. Dude, that's cool as shit. I would love to fucking try one of those. Oh, you don't have one of those? One of the, the updated last revision CFVs? I don't think so. I'd have to look around, but I don't. I just saw the Swift. I saw this shitty green Swift Pro and said, cool, I found it. Move on to the next vape. And I was. I, I thought about looking for CFV. Now you got me to want to look for a CFV. Because remember that beautiful red? That red CFV. Do you remember that? Yeah, I still have I, I, all, all all the CFEs were red. No, they had red and black for sure. And they had red think, and black. Sorry. Didn't they have another color too? They came out with the blue ones later on. Yeah, but at launch it was red and black. Red and black. Yeah. Look at you. You're enjoying smelling that leather cover and venting, aren't you? Isn't this beautiful? Dude, that's fucking dope. Still going with the screen protector film yeah, on your. Uh... It, it peeled off by accident. I was I was high and I, I was loosely holding it when I went to turn it, and it and the venti turned inside the case, and it it peeled the screen protector halfway off. It's tragic. It's very tragic. So I got out the squeegee, like, <coughs> squeegee to back, back on. on. No shit. It only great. peeled halfway, so yeah. I think I have one with that on it still. Yeah, yeah it's a nice case. It's a uh, right. Here's the the brand. I'm gonna look it up. The Said Head. Beautiful cases. Beautiful cases. Jerry, I think he said he wanted to send one to you as well. So sexy. Ooh. Yeah, I would rock one of those. That's cool. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Keeps my venti nice and warm. Keeps your what? Your venti nice and warm? I love yeah. it. Should we can we can we play the venti song? <laughs> yeah. Let's play the venti song. I love the venti song. <laughs> worth it, it that's was a good tune, it. man that's a good tune i love that song man yeah do we cover all the vapes bro we covered all the vapes we almost made it into the next day we're setting records for length God. of stream we're we're we're, we're, we're broadcasting like like cupins here man like we're about to hit his length of a stream wow my boy troy is baked I do. I I am. I uh. I, 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 yep. 
Words. Hi. Yeah, man. Check this out. Batitude. Um, no, actually, I have a mighty plus here with that on it, but I don't uh I don't have it on my venti. Um the first venti they told me to brick, but it was working fine. So I bricked it and they sent me another and another, and I don't have problems with any of them. Um, oh. so it, it's not a majority, it was always a small number yeah. of these fuckers that were going out bad. Um, so I understand some people have multiples, but I don't sweat it with a company like Stores and Bickle. They're going to make this shit right. Like, I mean, they're not going to leave you hanging. They're not some new company that you got to worry about if they have the capital or, you know, if, if they're going to, they, they'll, they'll take care of it. So, yep. I, you're not going to catch me sweating this at all. Stores and Bickle by the Venti, in my opinion. So, yeah, my, I mean, I, I bricked the first one, you know, since it was recalled. Uh, my second one had the error 04. So my second okay. one was was erroring out, and uh, they replaced it. And my third one here with the screen protector on it has been running strong. Well, your error 04 was still working, right? Like there was something about how if you just didn't do something, it would it would still work. Yeah, yeah, because it would error 04, and then uh, after like five minutes, it would be usable again. I, I just couldn't push both front buttons at the same time on that one. That's right. That was the fault, which is a silly fault. Or oh, that means you can't change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Yeah. Well, you could, but it would error four, and then you'd have to wait five minutes. But five minutes later, when you turn the turn it up on, it would be switched. <laughs> Can you imagine any electronics on the planet where you tell it? switch from this to that and it goes okay give me give me five hang on that's gonna take doesn't that's gonna take a good five minutes for me to figure out how to do that <laughs> this is fucking hilarious man only when you do that uh I get temperature conversion the mighty's awesome but it, it's a bitch at temperature conversion <laughs> the venti rather <laughs> yeah oh my goodness well so yeah I have, i've had one bad venti in addition to the recalled venti all right, but I, I'm not using the that one anymore. <sighs> well, good. Whew. Yeah. One, All right, Jerry. Was, that was not leather clad. So, <laughs> yeah, man. So you ready to ready to call it a night? I'm ready to call it something. It's bedtime for it me. It's, it's almost midnight here. Yeah, we went long tonight. Yeah. Went almost three hours. Nice, nice wow. work. A lot of vapes. Emily, you got a lot of work to do on that one, man. Yeah. I expect 12 videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, cool. Well, guys, thanks for hanging, man. You guys in the chat, hardcore hanging with us this late, man. Appreciate you. It's been fun. Yeah. Have a good Friday. Good rest of your weekend. Stay happy. Stay high. Drink lots of water. Stay hydrated. You know. Get some, sun, next get some week. vitamin D. Jerk off in the shower. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Get out of here. Yes. Bye now. Yeah.